it's been a little while since we played last. Yeah. A month. Disease took its toll. It did, it did. Uh, you woke up after the destruction of your home islands. Yeah, not mine. Well, no, not yours. You, yeah, you, no. you could care less about well, the loss of your entire no, congregation. No, I, want to go, I want to go back and check it out because I buried treasure, so yeah. Yes. This money the last thing you money. saw was white light enveloping all of you, and then... <clears throat> yes. Then I met God. And then you met God. The wrong one. No. Egob. Yes. <laughs> Kill Daniel Senpai. <laughs> Daniel Koroshte. <laughs> who, who, who is saying these have... things? <laughs> well, why don't you join the stream and watch? No. <laughs> they want to Either kill me? Single-handedly, everyone wants to kill you. <laughs> yes. All right, okay. the players, David, the game David, talk master. a little bit. Damn. I had to race you. Oppa. This is not a good chair. What? You're giving me a, you're giving me a race? Is that, is that too loud, Toby, who's watching? Oh, before we start, Toby is unfortunately not with us today. He's, he's watching the stream, however. We love you, big guy. Hope you feel better soon. Yes. So, okay. You met God. And what did God tell you? And which well, God did you meet? I met a God? Uh... I think it's the one I've been preaching who's an asshole. Well, according to It was to the me. sea serpent, yes. Yeah, the great en enemy of me. Mm -hmm. And, uh, well, spared my life at least. Uh, just to throw me at the feet of the mercy of the person I least wanted to meet. So... Who's that? The sow of the seas. Yes, Captain Sow. Yeah, the big fat sea cow. Oh, Damn she's, she's quite stringy and she weighs two or three times as much as i do so that's she's true but then again so does a m medium sized rock so so does a packet of milk so <laughs> yeah, yeah i yeah. guess also dogma hello thank you for watching um yes you uh, met god god told you to do some things maybe yeah the, the usual just save the world yeah or yes and spoke with the dragonborn a little bit Yes. Does the dragonborn Gethryn remember what was said? Well, uh, more or less that the dragonborn found some ancient technology and uh, the gods are not pleased with the way they are using it at the moment. No. Puny gods can't do it themselves. Need us. Indeed. And uh, then you woke up. supposed to yeah. speak with... or something connected to uh, Tiamat is the patron god of your people yes. and the one you consider your ancestor and the one the sea serpent said will not be happy well uh, well the sea serpent lies <clears throat> we notice I've preached it however he basically said that you need to unite the Caledon kingdom uh, and gain allies to stand a chance yeah. against the Heredition Republic yeah. Which took, essentially, invaded your home island. Yes, thank you, Dragonborn Kingdom, for being so gentle. <laughs> <coughs> yeah, Tiamat is involved in this campaign. Uh, we, uh, Dogma is, is, is flipping out. Yes, Tiamat is uh, one of the great serpents. His sister, if you recall. The great sea serpent's sister. But let's not dwell anymore on the past. More will come up. Uh, right now, you are all lying, except for one, on the deck of the ship The Revenant, belonging to a certain Captain Sao, last seen gathering money to become one of the seven Captain Lords who rules over the Sable Basin Keep. Wait, the ship The Revenant? Yes. Her last ship was the Thirsting Harpy. Yes. Do you remember what happened to the Thirsting Harpy? <laughs> My bad. I, I keep forgetting that I thought she, at the time, she deserves it and that's it. All right. Yes, the, the Thirsting Harpy, uh, there's, a, there's probably, the Thirsting Harpy is probably found here and here and here and here and here. And here a collection of driftwood. Yeah. That was, of course, a little while ago. Captain Sao. She's gotten a few gray strands of hair since last you met her. <laughs> She's a tough, sinewy woman, um, late have, 50s maybe. Years hasn't been kind, I see. No, they certainly haven't. Oh. Where's your brother? 
Am I strung upside down no. by my nose hair or something? <laughs> no, you're lying on the deck. Upside down by your nose. <laughs> I, I, he said, you're lying down beside, but not one of you, so I was just mm. figuring. Anyhow, <laughs> I'm looking up at her and the first thing is I smile and say, hello, who are you? Sorry? Who are you? Who are you? Very funny. I am trying to deceive okay. her as much as I can. It doesn't work, I guess. <clears throat> I thought you and your brother had died that evening. Care to explain how you survived? No. <laughs> she looks over to her crew, who are standing in a circle around But you. if you insist... <laughs> Please. We, sw uh, we swam. Indulge me. You swam. Of course. Of course. <laughs> On some driftwood, and then we came ashore and stayed there. Yes. Uh, How are you been? I see you have a new ship. Very nice. You look good. Oh, thank you. Yes, it's uh, it's you been an uphill struggle, I'd say. Oh, I had to reschedule my plans a little bit, but... Um, I wouldn't know what they are. <laughs> I've recovered. Oh, good. Oh, so you and your brother didn't speak? about our meetings? Uh, my brother threw me overboard and that's about it I know of your dealings. Yes. Yes. Uh, I, I introduce this one. Ah, you the saw Lord, what happened to the island. Yes, the Lord's daughter's friend. Oh! Lord Richard Gall's daughter, you say? How do you know that name? But yes! And that of man over there, that ravishing beast, filled of scales and muscles. Do you see him? <laughs> yes, yes, he's hard to miss. He is indeed the future king of, well, what, what? was supposed to be the Okin Isles or the world, you choose. Destiny has spoken. I was not aware that the Okin Isles was planning to secede from the uh, Caledon Kingdom. I have no idea what they were planning. I was merely there, little. Oh, priest. Unger, I am, I am so disappointed in myself. I w had intended, well, that doesn't really matter, but you have given me so many things now. I don't like torture. <laughs> Neither do I. Generally, what comes out through torture is usually less useful than I like. Although, I'm wondering. Were you expecting me to torture you? Your look is kind of evil. <laughs> evil. <clears throat> your fangs have begun yes. become a bit sharper. David, get a mic out of your face and get on the stream so you can see what they're saying so I don't have to tell you that. What? Okay. Yes. Yeah, sorry. So, Captain. Yes. What are your intentions? I am Talk so glad you asked. I was sitting in my cabin last night thinking, how am I going to, well, become one of the seven lords of the uh, Sable Basin Keep, which I'm sure you know of, I do unless your memory has been more damaged than I thought. Yeah, some things I do remember. Indeed. Yes, yes. yes. Um, you see, I have a bit of a gamble going on, and the idea is that <clears throat> there is a... Um, one of the lords, the Lord of Gold, has a standing bet that if anyone can gain access to his treasury, uh, that person will become the next Lord of Gold. Now, I had planned and amassed quite a sum of money to uh, make a bid of one of the other seats when, as you might remember, the, there was a little bit of an accident and everything was lost to me. Indeed, the fates are fickle sometimes. They are. They are fickle. I do agree. Yes, and I've But then the fates are so fickle that they landed in my lap. The very Her and him. Yes, <laughs> yes, indeed. Yes. The very man who will earn me a seat in the Council of the Seven Lords. I what do you at, say? I look at Geffrin. Yes, he might actually do that. <laughs> <laughs> yes. I'm, I'm beginning to see quite um, confusedly. This is probably very confusing to all of you. Um, 
But you see, I heard through a little bird that there is an imminent, uh, how would you say, conflict between two great nations. Uh, the first of which is what resulted in the uh, <laughs> destruction of a certain set of islands. Uh, and, uh, well, if one of these sides found itself a little short on resources, soldiers, and uh, ships to stand against this other side, a future influential lord in the Council of Sable Basin Keep might be interested in striking a deal. Okay. Yes. <laughs> well. So, uh, have you perhaps heard of the, um, well, it has many nicknames, but I'd say uh, the Golden Tower. Does it ring a bell with anyone? Sounds pricey, but no. you can uh, you can roll. Uh, what would be a good roll for that? I guess history. History, history certainly. Nope. I am too afraid <laughs> to think. I'm Here. sitting beside. One thing, I'm sitting in front of her with the breastplate engraved with me strangling two sea serpents. <laughs> oh yes, yes, you had that crafted. Yeah, your your loyal followers. Gifted, but, uh, yes, twenty-one. Twenty-one. Fourteen. Fourteen. Well, the golden uh, tower is known to you, Stella. No, Astra. Why do I keep saying Stella? <laughs> Astra. Get, this is an ongoing it. thing. No. Yes, um, the Golden Definitely. Tower is actually yeah. one of the seven islands located in the outskirts of the region known as the Great Swamp, which is where the Sable Basin Keep is. Uh, each of these islands belongs to one of the seven lords, and the Golden Tower is special because it is a, uh, it is a barren, small rock, uh, and the tower is not in fact golden. It is made out of fairly solid stone. It's called golden because... It has a, the largest center of gambling in the entire Circle C. Gambling is, of course, a luxury. Uh, and, and this kind of gambling only allows the uh, most high profile of guests. But the Golden Tower has been in service for quite a while. And um, it's compri comprised of seven floors each with different challenges on it for, for mm. anyone who visits. And, well, the, the deal, as I mentioned, is that anyone who can gain access to the vault beneath the tower, where the Lord of Gold stores all of his valuables, will become the next Lord of Gold. Now, whether or not th they will also be given the treasure, I suppose that's really up to the situation. I have been planning and thinking and trying to twist my mind around this problem for, well, I'd say ever since two fateful brothers left my crew a few years ago. And wouldn't you know it, one of them just shows up on my deck with the daughter of Lord Richard Gall, one of the lords of uh, the Caledon Kingdom, and apparently its future king as well. Of course, if you're not interested, I can just drop you off in Sable Basin Keep. I'm sure you have plenty of friends there who'd help you out. I can hey. leave my friends behind. So I'll just wait and see what they say. Oh, please do not take this as any kind of threat. I was merely... I was hoping that perhaps your brother would join you as well. I mean, his reputation as a rogue of some, of some degree precedes him. But um, besides you, the three of you are presumably not very well known in the area. And the Lord of Gold will have no reason of suspecting you to work with me. Where, where, where is my brother? Uh, I wouldn't know. 
I only found the three of you floating together on a small ple- piece of driftwood. Is she lying? Why don't you roll to see? I, I do. The bitch is... Ooh. 16 plus <laughs> something. <laughs> Ooh. 19. 19. Um... She is not lying to you. Or is she? No. <laughs> you, they, you've, you've worked with her long enough to uh, spot the small tells. As it's, far as yeah. she knows, your brother was not with you. I am looking for the tell that she's becoming anxious to kill. No. I, I'm just... That's a, It's going on all the time. She's as calm as a cat. That's even worse. You haven't found anyone else but us, t- no. us three. No, no, definitely not. The what, there are other nobles mind. floating around in the sea that I should know of? Not that we're aware of. Hmm. But this uh, getting into the gold tower, you call it? The golden tower, yes. Yes. Are we uh, speaking of some kind of... Uh, burglary situation? Well, that is a problem I have considered as well. The entire tower is magically protected. Spells work, but there are several different charms around the place. I don't know everything, of course, but outright attacking with magic will trigger alarms to the guards who are, by most definitions, absolutely unbribable. Now, the Lord of Gold doesn't merely live in his tower. He actually frequents the Sable Basin Keep quite often. Uh, so perhaps there is some information to be gained from the populace there. And again, the less you and I are seen together, the less people have a reason to suspect that you're working for me. Hmm. And I assure you <laughs> that if you intend to, <laughs> well, if... You intend to return to Caledon Kingdom, as you are, of course, the daughter of Lord Richard Gall. Although I don't see the resemblance, if you excuse me, then I would presume that you'd be interested in perhaps not having another enemy. I'm a bit curious about the details of uh, this getting into the lower levels and actually gaining the position is there a non illegal way so to say or non burglary way to do it is there some kind of condition that you can win it or uh, hmm. I'm not much of a gambler myself and believe me if there was any other seat that I could take with uh, certainty I would jump the chance I would presume that perhaps on a certainly high level of gambling, as you can probably surmise, the seventh floor is uh, quite a different kind of game than the lower ones. Perhaps you could gamble for the key to the vault. Perhaps you could steal it from him when he's sleeping. Or perhaps you can find some way of going down there without using the traditional means of entry. Mm. I would assume that since there are gambling using money at every floor there must be some way for the money to reach the vault perhaps that way I wouldn't know but you seem to be uh, well I know you are a very resourceful person Unger I'm sure you could figure out a way to get the key off the Lord of Gold I look around the ship do I see land anywhere close by (laughs) <laughs> Were you planning on jumping the Rest ship? Rest assured, I, she's gonna throw us into traps because out of spite. I despise that. Why would I? I didn't do that? say that. No. Oh wait, I did say that out loud. I think. <laughs> okay, I do insist. You know me. I am a practical, efficient captain. You are no longer a threat to me or my crew or my ambitions. And uh, I don't consider it a secret that I'm vying for a seat on the council. Were you to go tell the Lord of Gold what I've told you, he would, he would laugh, shrug, and pat you on the head. I'm He's sus- well aware of the risk, otherwise he would not have gambled his seat. 
but there's no condition that says that breaking an entry would uh, forfeit the winnings. No, absolutely not. All right. I would sub suppose that killing all of his guards, setting the tower on fire and stealing the key from his corpse would just as much be valid as stealing it out of his pocket or earning it through a bet. Hmm. Yeah, but these are lawless people. Well, we don't have much else to go on by now. <clears throat> She's offering an alliance. Is she? Are you, Captain? Yes. I thought it was obvious. No. <laughs> Do me this service, and I will ensure that the seven lords of Sable Basin Keep will stand on the side of the Caledon Kingdom should a conflict arise. We have no love for the Herodition <laughs> Republic. No offense. None taken. But we'd rather not risk it unless we have something to win from it. I'll just go find a bunk, shall I? Certainly. Think about it. We'll be arriving at Sable Basin Keep in about three days. Two and a half. Three and a half. <laughs> <laughs> of course. Three and a half. Well done. That's what I admired about Junger. Your insistence to prove other people wrong. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's needed sometimes. Enjoy your stay at the Revenant. And if you have any questions, just let me know. Yeah. Mm. I, uh... The crew disperses, returns to their tasks, and the captain returns to her cabin. I melt away. Are we assigned... Uh... <clears throat> Bunks, so yes, to say. yes, yes, yes. Right. One of the uh, one of the s crewmen just uh, come this way, and uh, we only have uh, what are they called? The hanging ones that you sleep in. The uh, hammocks. Hammocks. What? Hammocks. Uh, hammocks. We only have hammocks, but uh, as long as you're fine with sharing sleeping quarters with others, or you can sleep on the deck. The sky mm. is clear. Well, sleeping is uh, the least of our problems you know, at the moment. You, you notice as you look around that there's actually a faint pillar of smoke rising in the distance. And that is, oh. you can surmise, where the islands were. R right. <clears throat> You're far away enough that you can't actually see uh, where the they... destruction. Dis but anything, no. Hmm. But still, we're quite a ways away and the pillar of smoke is that big. Indeed. Damn. Is this oh, like, the is captain this looks like over her shoulders and goes, "By the way, my condolences for your, for your loss." Is this like the Pompeii thing or something like that? Like you see a huge. I mean, yeah. Well, I mean, it's on the scale of Pompeii. Yeah. Damn. Well. <clears throat> I think we have some things to discuss. And and, and this is me, the, the game master, telling you that from what you could interpret, th you have no obligation to do this. No, I, I am I am really noticing that. I'm, I know that. And I was thinking about as soon as I set foot upon land, I'm going to tell them we don't need to do this. But right. until we're on solid ground and not at her mercy, Damn, my brother never told me that she offered him a place. No, I don't. I don't. I don't no, think he she said did. He, he didn't. didn't. He Damn didn't it. do that. that. Oh, that's specifically why I asked him. <laughs> I <don't> remember. <laughs> yeah. Bless you. That Bless is. You. That would be so good to know. <laughs> well, it would certainly color your decision quite a bit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Quite a bit. Indeed. Wait. Hmm. I well, don't even know she was angry at us, really. I no. just know that she was like t talking to my brother and he pushed me overboard and said we need to go. Yes. Hmm. But so your behavior is really irrational. Well, she was terrifying. She's, she back is then a demonic female. I mean, it, yeah. Demonic is the big thing. <laughs> well, I mean, you, <laughs> could, you could kind of compare it to it's a shark. An ongoing feud. Yes. Ungar and women, I guess. Yes. <laughs> no big luck there. 
Nope. But today he finds someone. Nope. It's gonna be a wedding. And it's gonna be horrible. It's gonna be a red wedding. <laughs> is that a spoiler? That is a no. spoiler. <laughs> so, what are you talking about? Well, I'm uh, asking the others on you their can. opinion. You can do it in character. So, we've been giving uh, given a proposition here that might be to our benefit. I'm curious as to your position on this. I'm not sure what would be to my benefit at right at this moment. That's a pile of smoke that used to be my home. I'm on a pirate ship with your old captain. Not pirates, buccaneers. Tomatoes, tomatoes. No, big difference. Tomatoes, potatoes. <laughs> Wait a minute, this is the first time we find out that they've been yeah. on a pirate ship, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. And as you also might have heard, we left it. So you used to be pirates. Buccaneers! <laughs> is anyone <laughs> surprised? <laughs> Not really. What? You're gonna judge me? <laughs> Stop Probably. doing that then. We don't have time for that. What I'm thinking is... You can't trust her. She is a pirate. And I put my foot in my mouth knowing me. <laughs> Isn't she a buccaneer? <laughs> no, not anymore. She's a pirate queen. <laughs> what I'm thinking is, after the information we gained from the sea serpent... You can't trust that. Have you been listening to what I've been saying? You refused even to look at your god. That is somewhat telling to me. What does it tell you? That you're afraid. Wouldn't you be afraid? You're a liar. You do shut up. <laughs> Based on the picture you've painted of the sea serpent, I would think you expect your Lord of Light to be less frightening. Hmm. I don't know, I haven't met him. Well, you had your shot. No, I, I think that was just a lie. The sea serpent lies, I know this, I've preached it. You lie. No, I'm telling the truth. There is a sea serpent, there is a sun. What have I been lying about? Yeah, what have I been lying about? Come on, spill it out now. We're on the sea, we can't get away. Tell it to me, Tell it to my face, down here. What have I been lying about, <laughs> right? You've been spitting at me all this time. Come on, demon woman. What have I been lying about? And no fire. <laughs> <laughs> Ships burn easily. He says as he steps into a tar puddle. Damn it. No cleanliness. You deal with him. I don't want to. Ah, <laughs> oh, you don't have anything. Running away, are you? Ah, oh, I knew it. Well, Mr. Ex-Pirate. Buccaneer. Whatever. I never pirated anything from anyone. Still, we've spoken to the Sea Serpent. We haven't spoken to your god. So unless your god has some further instructions or further information, all we have to go on is that the Sea Serpent has told us some information of what's happened. And... Is basically the only clue we have to solve this. Solve it? You don't think that a sea serpent, that scaly fucker, <laughs> led an army Thank of you. other scaly fuckers? No, nothing against you. You're great. But <laughs> your relatives may not be. They led those scaly fuckers to kill your nation and my nation, your family, my congregation. And we should trust that fucker. Yeah, sounds really good. And then they dump us in the middle of an ocean out of spite why not somewhere at a court where you can speak to people and get help or aid no we should trust this random thing that throws out out in the middle of the sea i don't trust it so your plan is get to land get uh well bail it's a good word bail get out from i don't know you realize that those machines 
They travel by air. Well, they could get anywhere, and they intend want, to get I anywhere. I don't want to fight a war. I'm not made for fighting, I'm made for loving. War is coming, whether you would risk it or not. <laughs> well, so might love be. I, you know what, I can help you in this way. We'll find a princess, she's gotta be pretty. I'll marry her for an alliance, and I'll bring her troops to the field so you can push them around. What do you say? I'm into that idea. It's a gain for everyone. What would she gain? Me. I'm with her. Ah. Alright, what's your suggestions? Well... Only best... of much faith, apparently. The best shot we have at the moment is trying to get this woman a seat on the, well, pirate council, whatever you would call it. And what would that gain her? A fleet. Power. Yeah, none that Which ours. could be used to our benefit. Then you should make a contract with her. Something binds her. Fine. Fuck, no. No, wait, you're, you're thinking about doing this? Yes. Oh. I just saw my sister in a war machine, and I know what? that my father... You saw your sister in a war machine? Yes. Right before the whole place blew up. But they're behind this. Wait, my wait. nation is behind this, and they're not gonna stop. Your sister? Yes. Ooh, I'm, I'm sorry. Huh. Hmm. Well, that I come from a nothing. difficult family. Yeah. And yes, it doesn't change anything. No, it really doesn't. Because if you were there, met your sister, and you're on the run, that means they're not going to spare anyone. Exactly. Ooh. So stop them or prolong running. Or join them. I'm just kidding. Judging stare. <laughs> um, <clears throat> right. So, Stella, Astra, damn it. <laughs> it's ages. <laughs> we should just have little name tags on everyone. I'm sorry, yeah, can't you Can't you mix it's up okay. both names as an honor? No. Honor if she's dead, Stesla. you might take it. Stesla. No. No. Astra. Yes, Astra, what's your opinion about this? Do you have a mind? I would like to hear your thoughts. My thoughts are empty at the moment, okay? I just lost my home, I just lost my family, I'm... Yeah, very sad. So, what we're gonna do? The world's about to end, it's a great war, we're being threatened by pirates. Preferably, we would want to be on the side with the power, and if we can help this captain to get the power, it should benefit us more than just blindly going somewhere else. Right, this captain has been trying to gain power for years. She has failed all her attempts. And she's willing to just throw people at it until it goes, I don't know, click or something. Uh, I'm not getting the point of her reasoning. It doesn't seem like a valid option. And I'm saying if we do this, because Geffrin seems to be willing. If we do this, I think we should not place her skinny ass on some kind of throne. You should take it. Because you're the one who beat, beat the problems. Could be an option, but... How much power does, does she have? <laughs> Only this shape? I, I haven't seen her for years. The last time I saw her, her ship was going under because of a sea serpent. Well, hugging it warmly to pieces. <clears throat> and she was screaming something at my brother, and that's about it. Um, so, oh yeah, by the way, I used to be a seaman, so don't, I can swim and stuff like that. I've been on ships before, so be calm. The rocking at sea will calm you at sleep, but that's about it. The food is mostly fish. You'll get used to it. Uh, anyhow. As I was saying, 
trusting her might not be the best option. If you take something, you should keep it to yourself. And oh yeah, the place she's taken uh, taken us, Sable Basin Keep. There's no law there. Don't expect any. Uh, keep your mouth shut most of the time, and especially about things that is religious. It is quite forbidden. They kill people. Are that. you going to take your own advice? Of course, I don't want to die. Have you ever f seen me as someone who wants to die? Ever. <laughs> <laughs> well. Oh, ye of little faith. Come on, give me some credit and believe in me. Well, you seem to have the most experience of this place. Yeah, and that's this why I captain. left it. <laughs> it should tell you something. <laughs> I left th this. You were planning on leaving the court as well? I'm not belonging to any court. You and your brother ran away when the attack started. Yes, it was an attack. We're three feet tall. We're not warriors. You are. I'm a normal person. I don't run towards battle and death. I run I, far away from it. I don't court fire and death. You do. Both of you. I don't. I lead people to safety. I tell them what to do in peacetime. I try to make them live a good life. Why should I run towards whatever is killing stuff and destroying a whole nation? It seems ludicrous. Well, if you don't... It'll get you eventually. Yeah, yeah, all right, I'll give you that. At the end of the war, I'll be called a coward. But you know what? I'll still have all my legs and arms and my life. If your side of the war wins. Or a side of the war wins. Hmm. Well, I vote <laughs> that we at least look over our possibilities to actually helping this captain because that's the only powerful position we have access to at the moment. And Geffen, you should know one thing about her. She r she's really into the scales. I don't see how that's relevant. You will. <laughs> uh, by the by, the map that you have there, uh, I'm going to upload it later on the website, but it shows you... Um, Sorry for interrupting. The orange is the... Um, the Seven Isles. Yes. Which yes. way is north, by the way? North is towards the purple. Right. So, so upward. So now... So upward, thank you. <laughs> you have it in the right direction. Uh, the purple, blue, that is the Her um, Heritage and Republic. The dark green is the Caledon Kingdom. The orange is the Sable Basin Keep and Seven Isles. And the light green is essentially a really, really big, lifeless desert. At printablepaper.net, yeah. Yes. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> High <laughs> quality <laughs> stuff. Mm, yeah. Mm. So. <clears throat> Where would Oak Niles be? On it's a little green dot in the middle of the water. That's one. Okay. Yes. Well. That's really isolated. Yeah. Yep. Just, just it's asking. Such a, it one was of such these. A nice uh, place. Yep. Yes. What? One of these. Uh, what do you call it? Hectagonal. Hectagons. Yeah. Hectagons. Yeah. Distance is kind of fleeting, floating, or is it a set measurement? How long is it? Um, um big. Consider the it the white space roughly the size of the Mediterranean. One white space is the size of the Mediterranean? No, the, the whole white oh, space you. is the size <laughs> of the Mediterranean. All oh, right, right, thank you. <laughs> that yeah, that... <laughs> big world otherwise. <laughs> Very big world. Yeah. Very big, the Oaken Isles. Yeah. We'll be there in three days. What are you, a rocket ship? <laughs> <laughs> just, uh, just to give you a sense of where things are. Yeah, we and the border of the purple and green uh, is where the, uh, the Dwarven... Kingdom is, which is part of the Caledon Kingdom. Let's so go the to the dwarves. They're solid people. It's very far away, <laughs> and you'd have to go past the uh, Okinawas. Mm. Probably. Which of these seven are has the golden? That's tower? a good question. Um, the one ice. furthest to the west. Hmm. West. Thank you. To the left, yeah. Yeah. Golden Tower. <coughs> right. Um, All right, Geoffrey and I, now I know your mind. Thank you for being cadded. Astra. 
It's a hard time. Here's a bottle of some strong stuff. Where did you get that? Over there. He's sleeping, so it's possibly grog. It has a faint green hue. It's good. Four tails. Grog. It, no, thank you. It's got some worms in it. Gross. No, they're dead, so it's good. I don't eat worms. No, you drink them. I don't drink worms. Try it out. No. It's really good. No. All right. Um. <laughs> Are you two on this path of saving kingdom? Yes. So afraid to say that. Right, my first priority, staying alive. My second, finding my brother. And I'm not really sure. So I'll tag along. Because <coughs> you're the two only on, well, <coughs> I was about to say honorable. I'm not going to say that. Honest people. <laughs> Things. I have not done one dishonorable thing. No, you haven't. That's what I'm saying. Listen to my words. Stop blaming me for everything. <laughs> yes, yeah, speechless. I know. The I know. irony <laughs> messing, is uh, messing with my intelligence here. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> yeah, well. <clears throat> Sable Basin the... Keep with. Uh, uh, where is that located? It's actually located on the main orange body. The one uh, that's sticking out, right? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Sable Basin. I'll just note that out. Yes. Good Good for reference. Yeah. I'll give it to you later. I'll, I will give you a bigger uh, map uh, of certain regions when we actually get there, but or when it becomes relevant. I just wanted to sort of where everything is. Yes. Gold Tower of Doom. No, just Gold Tower. Of Doom, yes. The Golden Tower. Golden Tower. <laughs> All right. Yes, listen to Astra. Thank you for remembering my name. <laughs> <laughs> for the first so time. It's only been 16 hours. Um, okay. So, what's the decision? I oh, sorry, Astra, you... No, I was just... It's yeah. a way. I don't know any other ways to do anything right now. Either way, we're not getting off until we reach Sable Basin Keep, so... Yeah. By the way, if someone there asks you to go visit a garden, don't. Don't. Oh, okay. Um, how does Sable Basin Keep act... In, with magic and stuff like that. That's fine, like as long as it doesn't interrupt trade. Right. Uh, I tell them what I know about Sable Basin Keep. That is the one last thing that, you know, in fact, don't interrupt trade. In fact, it's one of the places where you can most easily gain access to forbidden magic or magical items. Mm, because necromancy. it's kind of a, I'm not, kind of I'm a hub not of semi-legality. Well, you, you could get your sister back alive. She's considering it. <laughs> I'm slapping you in the face. <laughs> <laughs> you want to roll the hit? She hits. Well, considering how light you are. Oh, hmm. yeah. Do you <coughs> fall over? I'm not that strong. Well, I'm not that heavy. It's kind oh. of top heavy, too. Which be <laughs> 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 yeah. Uh, and I'm on a rocking... Yeah, ship. but you're also a sailor, so you're... Yeah, but I haven't been on, on the sea for like five or seven years, so... He does a cartwheel. <laughs> All right, let's see. Do I remain on my feet? No, I do not. Okay. <laughs> you slapped the little... You slapped little... me. What kind of person slaps? I mean, really, Her. seriously. No. Ah. Not even the dignity of a punch. And this time I'm ready if you try something. <laughs> That did sound like an invitation. It was not. It was merely observation. I'll Ow. remember it for next time. <laughs> <laughs> Do you want to know something fun? I'm the only one you can trust. Oh, don't start crying. <laughs> <laughs> That's actually, I mean, it, is, it has been a very trauma traumatic yeah. couple of days. Um, mm -hmm. For all of you, I'm sure. Lost all that money. Again. Lost my brother. 
Well, not again, <laughs> but yeah. Any. I need to be alone for a bit. Well, you can't. It's a ship. Well, I will find the corner I can be the most alone. Right. If uh. you see a barrel, don't sit inside it. <laughs> uh, the bird, the crow's nest is. Um, I know exactly why Daniel, but I'm not good. No, the I'm crow's not. crow's nest is probably the most isolated place. It's up in the mountains. It's the top. Yes. Yeah. yeah, I'm not climbing up there. No, just away from. Mm-hmm. At least, I don't know, somewhere. Well, you're outsiders, so you're left pretty much to your own device during the trip. You're not expected to pull your own way, um, but you're also not exactly given much food or water. You're not part of the crew. You're more of a a tolerated presence when you're aboard. Hmm. Catherine. Cargo. What? Cargo. You're cargo, exactly. There's no sign of hostility from Captain Sao. She doesn't seem to ask. She doesn't ask you again. She doesn't poke the question. She she barely notices you. Good. Well, I try to ask her a little more about Mm -hmm. uh, the actual conditions of winning this lordship. And before Geffen goes there, I'm like, open your shirt a bit. Would you like another slap? You're a man. Yes. What, what can a person, man, woman, or child, would slap? I mean, I'm not def- sure you would survive a punch. Th- that's not the point. Damn it. <laughs> Who slaps? <laughs> right. Are you offended? Limp- yeah. Li- limp-wristed. Bleh. Bleh. Limp-wristed? Slap. No. Yeah, I, I walk away. <laughs> Right. You toppled over. <laughs> From her. I was being kind. <laughs> the armor plate kind makes of it on hard the to floor. move around. That's <laughs> you weren't used to it. That's that's the explanation. I, I am not used to my friends trying to hurt me. I, I You're trust not used to, I yes, you to are. I trust people too much. <laughs> You're such and a nice I'm person and then you get slapped. <laughs> <laughs> what did you ever do wrong? <laughs> <laughs> They're alive. Yes. Is that something you and did wrong? <laughs> thanks to you. Okay. I'm not dead, thanks to me. So. Well, you, what do you want to ask her? Yeah. Well, basically, uh, more information on the Golden Tower. Ah, yes. The Golden Tower. Seven floors, as you've probably heard from your friend. I noticed she recognized the name. She glances at Unger. I'm not there. You're not? No. I'm well, in your general there. direction. <laughs> not much of a gambling man, are you? No. No. There's seven floors, like I said, and they are called the floor of gold, the floor of favors, the floor of blood, the floor of memories, the floor of lives, then souls, and finally the floor of gods. And as you can probably surmise, the uh, bets and the challenges vary depending on which floor you go. And the higher you go, the more dire the uh, the costs, if you lose, mm-hmm. of course. Personally, I've mostly kept to the uh, lower three floors. They're more of my taste. I've tried my hands at the fourth floor, and, uh, well, when they say memories, they do mean memories. Mm-hmm. I'm sure some people will actually go there to forget. Personally, I wagered a small, unimportant memory, and walked out having earned a few, so. All right. Generally, we use drink to forget. (laughs) You mean you can earn memories? Yes, well, generally you're paid either in what's being uh, wagered, or you are paid in gold. It's your choice. Hmm. So there's magic involved. I would surmise that. He does have quite a few uh, crafty spellcasters in his employ. They uh, are sort of his security at the mm. place. And the current bet as to win his position, is it his invention or did he gain it by the same way? That's an interesting question. I don't actually know, although 
Well, the amount of people that go to the top floor. Well, you also have to, of course, earn the access to the upper floors. You can't just waltz up to the seventh floor. You have to make your way up, winning mm. bet after bet. I would surmise at the top floor, you could, you could probably wager something like the Golden Tower there. Mm. Considering the wealth available to the one who owns the tower, I'd surmise you'd be more powerful than a god. Hmm. So, uh, the one who controls the gold tower is basically the top dog. Well, who is the most powerful lord of the I would suppose it's either the lord of gold or the lord of the sun. The sun, eh? <laughs> oh, hmm. <laughs> I've heard of the Sun Lord, but this they're not related, as far as I know. You know, they called me the Sun Lord back on the Oaken Isles. Which do, do no longer exist. Yes, why don't you keep reminding us of that? No, I'm reminding you. You're the you. one who brought it. You're not even there! <laughs> you said you were not there. there! You said she, you she were... Looked, she looked right at me, I'm like... Oh, no, okay. and you're like, I'm not there! And I was like, she looks in your general direction. All right, you uh, probably snuck up during the conversation. Yeah, You're I'm good at that. I'm eavesdropping. I'm dropping yeah, eaves. And I can't keep my mouth shut, it seems. So I'm like walking around. And, yeah. That tongue is going to get you into trouble someday. Really? Yes. I can surmise that you've all gotten familiar with his certain brand of love charm. Hmm. Anything else I can help you with? Uh, perhaps has there been tries to take the tower by force? Oh, I'm sure there's been attempts almost daily. Okay. Any worth noting? Hmm. Yeah. I don't really know. There's, uh... I'm sure if somebody got close, that would have gathered some attention. Most likely, yes. But if you'd seen the guards there, I'm sure you would uh, understand that there is no chance for anyone to claim the tower by force. Perhaps the tower doesn't even allow it. It's obviously magical in nature. Hmm. So either beat the magic or follow the system. We will arrive in Sable Basin Keep, and that is where we will part ways until you either return to me with the key or some other form of access to the uh, vault. Or you don't. I will wait in Sable Basin Keep for a week, keep for a week and after that I will leave. Hmm. With One or week. without you. All right. Thank you for the information. Of course. Of course. But if I might make a suggestion, I think approaching... I think perhaps maybe considering other ways of gaining access to the Lord of Gold might also be an option. After all, he does visit Sable Basin Keep from time to time. You might find some fortune there as well. Yeah. So the bet is for the key, not the actual floor. The key is the only way. But if you access the key from outside the tower, that's still the key viable. The key is the uh, sign of lordship, as it were. Hmm. The key gains access to the entire tower. And as far as I know, um, without the key, or the owner of the key's permission, you can't even enter the tower. Hmm. But that's all what I've heard. I've never tried it, of course. <laughs> I haven't been foolish enough to make an attempt on my own. Well, good thing you have us. Exactly. Exactly. <clears throat> Some way of calling us fools. <laughs> no shit. Oh, wait, I can't do this because I'm going to die. You're going to try. You're willing? Ah. 
Okay. You don't know if it's impossible until you've tried. <laughs> exactly. It has been taken many times in the past, of course. And you know, some people can fly just by jumping off a cliff. Anything is possible well, with in enough this belief, world don't you agree? That I'm just, I just lost my brother. I'm, I'm kind of down. So You don't know that. Well, I don't have him here, so I'm down. Hmm. Well, sucks to be you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's all how are coming you gonna back get, to you How are you going to recover from that bird? Yeah, I'm just going to say, oh, where's your family? <laughs> this group. Um, do you want to, uh, should we speed forward to uh, your arrival to the city? Or are there any other things you want to deal with? Well, I would uh, like to ask Astra if she has some additional information that she might have found in her books. She about seems to be an, the only yeah, one who knows about I the Golden was Tower. I about to ask, what do we have of our equipment? For the sake of simplicity, you have everything you need with you. Everything in your equipment. Everything. You have your library. <laughs> <laughs> Well, you don't have your entire library, but you have your personal I have my spell book and yes, stuff. Yes, of course. The Golden course. Tower book you keep with you at all times. It's the fairy tale you read at night. <laughs> yes, <laughs> of book. course. This is how Bill the Barber stole the Golden Tower. Step-by-step <laughs> <laughs> step instructions. Well, I've how been planning on visiting book? it since I was a little girl. <clears throat> Taking the Most Golden Tower one by one. you actually read about it in a child's story. Uh, it has the that golden kind tower. Of, yes, the golden tower. But the story it might not have been a casino at that time. <laughs> How wondrous! I came there and bet my soul. At the top, it's a prince or princess. It was something them. like a bunch of challenges that needed to be overcome, and of then course. access to the tower cellar was given. Unfortunately, mm. nothing that helps you with the task at hand. Unfortunately. No. no. I tell you what I know from All my right. child's Ooh. books. We teleport. Close the book. <laughs> <laughs> and you stop teleporting. Um, you arrive finally at Stable Basin Keep. And the harbor is... Imagine... They lived about 10 times as much people as would be comfortable on a space. <laughs> That's Sable Basin Keep. It is essentially a city built upon a city, built upon a city, built upon a city. There are... Um, the harbor really uncomfortable. is very hard to navigate. At several points, it just ends and you either have to jump on poles in the water or you have to turn around. But the worst part is that if you turn around, someone might have removed the part of the... Um, the, uh, the uh, bridge. Is it bridge? Um, one no. Jetty Dome. They might have removed the part of the harbor and <laughs> you, you find yourself stuck. Magic. There are people of all creeds and kinds here. Most of them criminal looking by nature. Vaguely, f vaguely resembling the, the gnomes <laughs> in, in behavior and. I look non-criminal. Yes, <laughs> you do a very good job of not looking criminal. Would but there are not just criminals here. Someone who looks like me? <clears throat> no, no tieflings actually. Okay. Um, but there are dwarves. There are uh, yeah, the, wait, halflings. Zao. Yes. Wasn't Captain Sao a tiefling? No, she human. A... I do remember. No, otherwise. she was a human. I would know if she was. Yeah, she's a human now. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think uh, I, I, I do think I remember that but I could be wrong perhaps in your eyes she looks like a demon I have been cursed <laughs> you're, you're really a yes. woman right a human woman damn it perhaps no, no tieflings but there are dwarves gnomes halflings um, all humans, the right people half orcs every here and there and some people that, well, if you don't know what they are, not elves. 
um, there's a few uh, um, Goliaths. That they are essentially very big human-like people. They don't have any hair. Um, Bold, and muscular bodybuilders. Very big muscular bodybuilders, kind of grayish. Uh, Head taller than They look like else. they're chiseled out of rock, essentially. They're usually hired muscle. Uh, you see a few of them who work ships. Uh, there's this bustling and there's people everywhere. There's stores, stands, selling yeah, all kinds of food. Ah, it's home. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. And as you pass Don't through uh, uh, um, an alley, you actually hear the sound of a hook shot above you. And you see familiar sight. You see the Rapplers, the only kind of right. police force in Sable Basin Keep, who keep on the lookout for anyone interrupting trade. Yeah. We're spreading faith. What was a shiver down my spine? What was the sound we heard? Hook it's the sound of, a, of grappling hooks. Oh, okay, okay. Or a hook shot. Hmm? Yeah. They travel around essentially by s swinging with ropes and stuff like that. Attack on Titan uh, style. I, kind I, of I similar, maybe. Like this on your knee or something, like, watch out for those guys. Fresh fish! Someone just shoves a fish up your face. Fresh fish caught this morning. What do you What do you say? Twenty coppers. I'll take it. Someone says and just throws a bag of money over, and it's like, and, and then five six eight. This isn't twenty coppers, and then a, a brawl starts right before your eyes. Cool. Charming place. <laughs> you get a fish thrown at you. Roll to dodge. Roll dex save. <laughs> I roll to catch it. A twenty. A d twenty dex save. Yep. Yeah. All of us? Yes, all of you. <laughs> that, that, that. Oh, no. It's the stone all over again. Right. You're all the one? Yes. <laughs> Three. Three. <laughs> Linda? It's nine. <laughs> okay. Each of you receive... Lunch. Three damage. <laughs> Damn. As you get uh, Damn. hit by frozen fish. Semi-frozen fish. Uh, eels. Oh. Yes. So it's basically one huge tuna, Slab of tuna. <laughs> <laughs> which hits all of us at yeah. the same time. <laughs> you fall, almost fall backwards. <laughs> so, like tip tap toe. Um, the situation is like this: um, you have also been given a bag of gold each. In preparation, I forgot to mention that. Yes, Captain Sal tossed each of you a bag of gold. Saying, well, I have a good hunch that you might be helping me out. If you don't, this is a small price to pay. I look in the bag. Small indeed. It's uh, how much did I write you got? 700, 600 gold? 600. 600 gold each per person. I mean, more would be nice and kind of persuasive. Just saying, Captain. This is not much. It's more than nothing. It's more than it's exactly as much as you need for this. I do believe you're wrong, Captain. I'm sure your brother would tell you that. Don't you should talk about my you brother. Should, uh, do not talk about my brother. Diversify your portfolio. Don't invest too much in the same thing. Now off you go. Give me more money. No. So you have enough money to buy uh, provisions and equipment that you need. Stop. Oh, and if you're looking for something, well, out of the ordinary, might I recommend Marriage of Limbo? That's usually where my crew goes when they have a lot of money to spend. What did you call it? Marish of Limbo. Marish. M-A-R-E-S-C-H. Of Limbo. Your kind of place. And I can give you a small list of stores if you want. Because I have a few written down. So the places that actually stand out that are stores more than just temporary stands are is of course Marish of Limbo. And there's Teddy's Food and Beverages. Teddy's Fab. And then you have Undersun and Sons jewelry store you have the magical and common ingredients marketer wanted that's not part of the title that's just a sign outside the door mm. and you have Ragnar Stenslukan um, Ragnar's nobody can pronounce his last name 
you have strange and exotic beasts and that's pretty much it Ragnar's is a is a blacksmith by the way nice and um, what did you call it Ragnar stone slooker stone slook stone Yeah. Yes. Blacksmith. Yes. You had Anderson and Sons. That's a jewelry store, a goldsmith. Magical and common ingredients run by someone named Jeb. And um, strange and exotic beasts, where apparently you buy strange and exotic beasts. And Teddy's food and beverages. I actually think I wanna. I think I'm gonna wanna go visit Beast Thing. Mm hmm. Just quickly. All right. So, do you follow, or does he go in alone? I follow. I yeah. don't want to be alone. <laughs> Outside the store is a large stuffed. Um, I was gonna say manticore, but no, not manticore. A large stuffed uh, gnoll that looks ferocious. However, mm -hmm. however, as you enter the store, you realize that. Whoever is their marketer should work for magical and common ingredients because this is just a pet store. They sell birds, snakes, uh, cats, dogs, fishes. Ah, I thought it was like some kind of magical special zoo thingy. Yes. Yeah, drat. I, I go up to the counter and like jump up and down until they notice me. Yes, you, you see there's two people standing at the counter. Hmm? Uh, and they turn around at exactly the same time and they look almost exactly the same. Welcome to our store, they say. There are two halflings, and they have name tags. One of them says Edith, and one of them says Edward. Right, hello, Edith and Edward. What can we do for you? I'm looking for creatures with horns, human-sized and shaped. Creatures with horns, human-sized and shaped? Yes. Do you have some? Do you have... Ha no, we, as you can see, we mostly just deal with pets. Well, good day then. Good day. <laughs> I leave. Please come again. I might. All right. They Did shake you their heads. Just head. describe me. Were you there? Yes. yes. We yes. were all there. Oh, I was uh, behind you. Perhaps. <laughs> Why are you looking for something like me? I want to get to know you better. I ask them if they have any. Special animals that stand out from the usual. Special animals? Yes. Oh, um, <coughs> I should probably note that the list of items I sent you is can be found in Marish, all of them. So you don't have to actually mm. find where they are. Mm. Ah. So, so if you're wondering about the uh, the Hooter, <laughs> that is in Marish's uh, store. We can't. No, we mainly deal with common, plain, non-magical creatures. All right. Well, it's worth a try. I mean, we have some very fine breeds of cats. <laughs> They're a delicacy. No, thank you. We're fine. Okay. Uh, as you're about to go, um, the sister uh, elbows the brother and says, "Don't forget to remove those when the Lord shows up." Anyway, thank you. Come again. Thank you. Maybe you should ask about that thing. Well, maybe you should. I go back in. Oh, hello. I forgot oh, hello. something. Yes. Uh, I'm thinking about doing a special favor for a lord, and there was something about cats I heard. Sorry, for a lord? For a lord. For a lord. Yes, and uh, there was oh, something yes. about cats. They told me you would know what I'm talking about. No, well, which, do we know the Lord? Well, if I told you, uh, no, wait, <laughs> that came out wrong. Uh, I can only say this, it's about a Lord, and it's uh, something about cats. It should be quite enough information for you to understand. Do you understand? I, I, I suppose, but it, I, I, I don't see why you'd want to buy one. Edward, do you know anything about it? No, sister, I don't. Uh, you can try to roll persuasion if you want to. Indeed, if I do. you want to sneak it out of them. I do. I saw... Oh, wait, that's very crooked. Oh, my fault. Ah! 
property. This number two is not gonna help me. <laughs> no, it does not. So maybe my friends can back me up. <laughs> well, oh, you know, those cats. Y yes, we do have um, cats. You know what she's talking about. No, I really don't. <laughs> Uh, are you guys you even sure they were speaking we, about we have the cat? quite a few. No, uh, all right, I'll say it like this then. If this customer came into the store, you don't want to have your cats out front. Does that make it clear enough for you? What? Are you talking about Teddy? I have, we keep telling you that rumor is not true. He does not cook cats. We would know. We would have receipts for it. Well... His stews are delicious. Well, that's true. Have you tried his ribs? Mm. No, they were... They were human-shaped. I didn't... Human-shaped? Mm. I mean, that's merely... That's perspective, really. Yeah, I, I know, but... But, a anyway... I guess we'll have to go back for more information, so have a nice day. Uh, you too. Have a nice day. Walk out. <laughs> so how this works is, um, so we can, if for future reference, there's a bunch of clues you can find out, yeah. and uh, if you make a good enough talk around it, you can get an advantage of a of a roll. Uh, I'm only gonna give each of each clue one roll, uh, because otherwise three attempts would be. Unless you can really work your way around it. Hmm. So this was, uh, I mean, you can come back here and try if you have another idea for what to do about it. But this is pretty much an open playing field for you to, to try to figure out what's what. Uh, and also, if you want to buy things, uh, you do that together. I'd rather not do it like over. Yeah. Again, again. Um, and whenever you feel ready, we'll proceed beyond the stable base and keep. Right. Oh, I almost forgot. You also have the feisty, not the feisty, the feisty, the feisty mermaid. Exactly. Yeah. She, she, she's not feasting. <laughs> the feisty mermaid is still around. The best damn inn slash tavern in the Circle Sea. <clears throat> yeah, so I just want to visit it, that blacksmith that Ragnar Stenschluke. You almost got it right. No one can pronounce his name. So... All right. <laughs> Unless okay, you, you want, want to go, go there. Yeah. Mm. Um, this um, jewelry store was that on the way? They're all in this town, more or less. So there's a jewelry store. There's a blacksmith. There's magical and common ingredients. Teddy's food and beverages. Marriage of Limbo. Strange and exotic beasts. And the feisty mermaid. These are all the major stores around the area. You know what? I actually have a question for Unger. Since you've been here, is there a certain place that, well, the higher profile captains and such? Yes. Yeah. There might be. Where they do what? Yeah. Exactly. Where they meet, like an inn or a pub the or feisty the mermaid. Yeah. Yeah. All right. The, the one the place one. they all know, and. Mm. The, I keep remembering that the Feisty Mermaid is a place where no violence is allowed. Or, well, if you try it, you'll get brutally murdered, but that's about it. Mm. It's the one place I think the captains can get together without fear of them trying to kill each other. Absolutely right. It's the holy ground! Yes. No, no. <clears throat> it might be a good place to gather some information. Indeed. Mm. Let's do the shopping first and let's go there later. Yes. I agree, for once. <laughs> Doesn't it feel good? <laughs> no. <laughs> no. <laughs> All right. Um, it's terrible. To Ragnar, in that case. Okay, yes. you're going to the blacksmith. Yes, I'm just asking him quickly. Yes. Right. I have s plate armor on me. Yes. Or, well, not plate armor. I have stuff on me that's heavy, and uh, there's a lot of water around and sea and stuff like that. Is there anything you can do? that makes it not 
Totally. Oh, welcome, welcome to my store. Uh, how uh, you want you want to be able to uh, to to swim in your armor? To swim without problems, yeah. Oh, you speak. You are from also the Netherlands, I see. Some teams, yeah. Yes, your your accent is very strange. I barely understand. Are you perhaps from the nor northern way? No, no, I haven't drunk that much today, my <laughs> friend. Sorry. I see. Uh, I'm sorry. Case. I can't really work magic into armor. Um, Drat. Uh, but if you need a good sw sword, uh, I can help you with that. Ah, uh, I have a good sword over there. He's the best I've ever seen. He looks strong. Oh, Are you is. strong? Well, that's... You want to wrestle? <laughs> I move I'm guessing he's big. Oh, he's big. Uh, he's one of the Goliaths, and he's oh probably my. he he's actually head taller than uh, you, and okay. about almost twice as wide. <laughs> but oh, considering you have the physique of a snake, <laughs> <laughs> you don't look like much. Uh, what are you, eat? are you are you are you deafing? Are you eating uh, chicken and rice? <laughs> <laughs> well. Uh, I've been living with smaller folks for a while, so I had oh, to like adapt. Oh, like him. Yes. I, I understand. Small portions. Very good for deafing. Makes your muscles look really nice. <laughs> yes. Do I see dumbbells and shit like that lying around? Oh, yes. Oh, my. Whenever I'm not uh, smithing, I am working out. I am actually a, I am a champion at the Golden Towers in the Arena of Blood. Are you... Uh, you might have heard of me. I am uh, Ragnar uh, the Unpronounceable. Oh. oh. Well, that's what they call me anyway. Gavrin, that's a strange nickname. How'd you get it? That's because people can't pronounce the Slukan. All right. Yeah. Well, not properly anyway. So are you a fighter there or is it? Yes, I am the champion of the, uh, of the arena. Is it a gladiatorial game or? Uh, the, the, the blood arena is gladiatorial, yes. Okay. A bunch of challenges. You can either punch each other or you can do a bunch of challenges. You know, like climbing walls and things. I'm okay. uh, very good. Good upper body strength. Good core muscles. I do a lot of crunching. <laughs> this is a weird man. <laughs> he's I strangely. Uh, he's nice. He's yeah. honest and. and <laughs> yeah. He sounds happy. I am a very happy man. Yes. I can, uh, see I can I can I can uh, tell that you are thinking that I am a happy man. Uh, my yes, life uh, goal you, is. You to... can hear me thinking that because I'm saying that yes. you are really a happy man. Yes. Anyway, uh, do you want me to polish your armor plates? Oh, it's shining very well. Thank yes. you. That is a cost. Very nice custom work. Who made your uh, armor? Uh, they're dead now. That, uh, that makes me a sad man. Oh, they died like they wanted to. Oh, then then I suppose I'm neutral about it. <laughs> <laughs> Very good, well. Good for them, I guess. Yes. Well, Geffen here, he is kind of a gladiatorial fighter as well. Oh, really? Yes. Are you going to try uh, the Blood Arena? He might. Do you have any tips for him? Don't die. And is good it? core muscles. Very important. Hmm. Lots of cardio. Very good. All right. Run in the swamps every morning. It's uh, you. Uh, if you are not fast enough, you get stuck and you drown. Very good exercise. Good motivation. Is that part of your routine? Oh yes, three times a day. Okay. It's about that time actually, but uh, I have customers, so I can't do it. All I right. don't mean to say that you have to leave. You're more than welcome to be here as long as you want. But please leave. <laughs> no. <laughs> I whisper to Gefrin when you reach down to me. He might know things about the tower. How, how did he get to the blood thing? What did he need to do and stuff like that? Ask him. He seems like you. Well, I was planning on that, actually. Excellent. I'm just going to stand over here and be the, happy. The blood arena is... Uh, I've heard there are multiple floors. Uh, yes, there the are. There's uh, a, lot, a lot of floors. More mm -hmm. than uh, this many in the tower. And... Um, I have been to uh, to the upper one because I am the champion of the Blood Arena. Okay. It's a very nice view from there. All right. Yes. Which floor is the Blood Arena again? Uh, the Blood Arena is on the blood floor. Pretty easy to remember. It is the um, red one. Um, 
let me think. Uh, 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 one, two, three, four. Floor four. I okay. think. No, wait. Floor three. Yes. Three. <laughs> Are you sure? I think so. Yeah. Yes, I'm sure. All uh, right. Floor three, because you go uh, to one, two, three floors. Okay. How long have you been the champion? Oh, I've been the champion ever since I came to Sable Base and Keep. Okay. I long... was a bouncer, and then they saw me, and they said, you should fight. And I fought. Okay. They think I'm dumb. I'm not dumb. I'm very smart. Good core muscles. Yeah. Has there... But you're the reigning champion. That means you're undefeated, I guess? Oh, yes. Like I said, good core muscles. M not just fighting in Blood Arena. Also climbing walls and things like that. Okay. Lifting things. Throwing things at other people sometimes. I'm good at all these things. All right. So it's a test of physical strength, more or less. I, I don't know what that means, but yes. <laughs> Okay. Strength. He flexes and his biceps guy gets another bicep on it. <laughs> <coughs> hmm. Has there been anyone who's been close to beating you in any of the Never. games? Never. Never. Well, I mean, there, uh, there has been people who tried to trick me, but I am very clever and they can't trick me. Okay. How they try to trick you? Oh, you know, they try to um, they try to make me not show up in the arena. If I don't show up, then you know, then the second uh, next best champion, who is a wuss, has to fight instead of me. Not okay. not a good not not a good fighter. That's why he's number two. Okay. Well, it sounds very interesting. It, it it's interesting. Yes, I like to fight. Yeah. Yeah, it helps with core muscles. Absolutely. Well, uh, what do you do here besides shining armor? And I make armor. I make uh, swords and shields. Oh, sorry, I make swords and shields. And sometimes I also make uh, axe and uh, hammers. All right. And spears, but the wood is not very fun to work with. I see your point. Well, this blood arena sounds very interesting. Is is there a way to spectate, or is oh that yes, just yes, for... lots of people watch. Okay. May they bet on me. All right. Maybe uh, we could join you for uh, when do you fight next? Uh, I will be fighting in about uh, four days, I think. All right. Not very interesting. Mid-season. Bad fights, really. Well, we could still join you and see what's up. Yes, of course. I can't bring you into Blood Arena because uh, you have to uh, either be uh, sponsored by a rich person or you have to uh, win to get up to third floor. Okay. How do you win to get up to the third floor? Well, uh, I think uh, on the... F uh, I had the sponsor, so I didn't have to, but people uh, have to gamble Who to get up there. Who is your sponsor? Uh, my sponsor was Lord uh, Sun. Ah. Hmm. Is he? Uh, well, I don't he know like... who he or she is. Who is you haven't met two? him. Who is the wuss underneath you? Oh, um, he is some. Um, um, he it's a dwarf. Not nobody special. Hmm. But he has good core strength that I should give him. I'm guessing he's won a few battles to at least be second to you. Yeah, yes, of course. I mean, yes. There's a lot of people in the Blood Arena. People from all over uh, uh, all over the Circle Sea come here to, to fight. All right. Very interesting. In four days, you say? Yes. Uh, one, two... No, three days. Okay, three days. They all, uh, usually come and pick me up. Okay. So I don't have to remember. All right. Can I get you anything or can I go out and run? Because I'm getting a little bit restless. Yeah, we should leave you to Yeah, we running. shouldn't keep you. Thank you. Have a nice day. 
Same to you. Leave. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> so we have one shot here. We could in some way... Well, that depends on the dwarf, but if he's as much of a wuss as this mountain says, we might be able to defeat the second one. You might be able to defeat yes. the second one. I do, but you might. Yeah. <laughs> but a win for me means a win for us. Yeah, but I think you can take that guy too. Could we win together? I mean, not a single person has to win. Yeah, yes, you c if you're a party, you can go together. Yeah. Oh, so he takes on multiple opponents. <laughs> No, but I mean, if no. you, you can, you can come in a, in, a, in a party, and one person yeah, can do I, a challenge. I bring the bucket of water. She all right. walks around in a bikini. I mean, it all works out. We're all part of the same crew. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, one person has to take, do the challenge. But if you're bring, if you're in a group, you don't ha all have to do the same challenge. Thank God. So if I do the yes. fighting, one of them can do something else. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. All right. I can cheer. Well, I was thinking more you oh, could oh do okay, some of the no. other no. Yeah. floors that might not be yeah. as fitting for me. Yeah, Let, Let's visit yes, another sir. shop. We got some information from that guy. Mm -hmm. Look, you wanted an um, armor that doesn't sink you like a stone. Yeah, because it's full, it's a swamp full of water and stuff, and I, I, so I'm not I taking off my armor. I would suggest maybe we should visit the magical and common... Um, the Maresh of Limbo? Maresh of Limbo. Maresh of Limbo. No, not Maresh of Limbo. The magical, magical and common, common ingredients. ingredients. What yes. are that are store sells uh, herbs. herbs, spices, magical components, stuff like that. And you wanted to see a jeweler? Yeah. It, was it could be useful. I, I guess. Right, let's go to the jeweler and then to the magical herbs thingy and then to the magic shop. Okay, so you go to um, Underson and Son, Sons. Yes. And um, it's a small jewelry store. It's a corner shop. Uh, it's kind of old. Established uh, several years ago. Several years ago. It's a, established several years ago. <laughs> um, <laughs> that way they don't have to up to change the... No. Well, actually, you wouldn't have to change the sign anyway, but... <laughs> <laughs> they didn't think that. No. And um, there's not a lot of stuff going on in there, but you do see a... Um, you see a dwarven, dwarven woman uh, waving you in from inside. Ah, oh, come see! New new customers, new faces. Haven't seen you in Sable Basin Keep before. Well, you do, you kind of look familiar. Do I know you? <laughs> Who is she looking at? You. <laughs> Who else? I've never, I've never been here. I'm sorry. You grew a beard. From <laughs> 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 yeah, poof, it just appears. Oh, all right. My, my, my bad it? then. My bad then. Do I have he grown picked out a comb and did this. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, come on, something, something, well, something. greetings, how is business? I oh, say, business is I booming, say, my dear. Business. I speak in Dwarvish. Oh, you, sp oh, you speak the good language. Oh, gold, huh. gold, gold, gold. Welcome, welcome. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it has uh, 59 forms of gold in the, in the language. Welcome, welcome. Wow. Uh, yes. Um, <clears throat> oh, um, hmm. Where is Carl? Carl, come out here and... Yes, mother. <laughs> and you see a orc. Step down from from the floor below. Ah, customers! I can make. Uh, what can I make for you? A nice uh, necklace. You two are together. This is my son. Carl. Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> He's adopted, but he has quite a way oh. with jewelry. Wow! I thought he had your eyes. Oh, thank you. <laughs> I, I step back a bit. <laughs> He's he he is very big. Everyone is. You have a lovely neck. <laughs> Thank you. And you have a lovely like adopted this mother. Big. <laughs> Thank you. Perfect for strangling. No. <laughs> One arm. <clears throat> what do you want? So, Rings, necklaces, brazers. I was uh, thinking about looking at necklaces. Ah, yes. Inspired by the Lord, then, I guess. Which lord? You, he, he points to a small satin pillow that but there's like a, 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 a neck made out of wood and there's mm -hmm. like a, a golden necklace with an engraved ruby on it. 
It's in fashion for a week. The Lord usually goes here and buys something, and we just make him a couple of more of them. And I mean, he's kind of a trendsetter, really. A trendsetter, you say? Well, come to think about it, if you wait another day or so, he's gonna, he's gonna go, he's gonna order something new. So. Does he usually order in person, or does he send someone? Yeah, he comes here every now and then. I mean, he sends people sometimes, but if he does, he's already been here to order something. He likes to see stuff happen in person. Do you, per chance, buy jewelry besides making and selling it? Um, the the woman speaks in. No, we don't actually do that. We, uh, well, I suppose we could melt it. We. Usually we uh, we buy golden bars uh, already made, but all right, thank you. Yes. Step well, back. I. <laughs> <laughs> well, you had me curious at least. Um, I should maybe be um, be interested in in uh, buying something if the trendsetter lord is going to be here in just. A day? Two? Yeah, he, he's gonna show up probably tomorrow. Or two days, maybe. Depends on how busy he is. Is there a certain time he usually... You'll notice. You'll know... I'll notice. That, as you can probably see, I've made preparation. Sometimes he just picks something up instead of ordering something. So, I put up my finest wares. Sometimes it's a ring, sometimes it's a necklace. Other times it's a ring for something else, if you know what I mean. She slaps him on the on the leg. <laughs> so, uh, I mean, he went with a necklace last time. Might go for an earring now. I don't know. Which of the lords are we talking about? Oh, uh, the Lord of Gold, of course. Ah. Yeah, of course. Who? Wouldn't be a trendsetter if not the Lord of Gold. Uh, he has enough money to do whatever he wants. To be honest, I'm sure there's better craftsmen out there, but he likes my he likes my style. Stop bragging, she says. <laughs> but it's true. Alright. Well you do have a gorgeous set of jewelry. Oh, thank you. Thank you. And um Yeah, I'm I'm curious as to what he'll cho choose next time. So maybe I'll be in tomorrow. I'm thinking it's going to be the necklace, but you never know. The necklace with the ruby. No, uh, no, no. Opals necklace. this time. Opals. Opals. It's in season. So, well, then you wouldn't mind me checking tomorrow? Oh, of course not. You might not be able to get in, because there's usually a bit of a rush after the Lord's been here. But if you're early, you might be here when he comes. All right. Do you know Good when he know. usually shows uh, up? Uh, sometimes after lunch, I guess. He, uh, he eats lunch at Teddy's, so. Okay. <laughs> then I'll know. I'll bring some snacks. All right. And, uh, sir, I've heard about one thing. Maybe you should do a cat-themed piece of jewelry. I think you would like that. Cat-themed? Cat yes. Why? I just heard around town that he, is, he thinks they are good enough to eat. Hmm. To eat? Well, it's a saying. Teddy doesn't make... Well, I, are you one of those people spreading rumors about Teddy? I don't know who this Teddy is, sir. Teddy's food and beverages is night right next door. Yes, I can smell it now. Smell what? Food. Oh no, sorry, that's me. I'm I'm making some beans upstairs. Uh, beans. Making beans, bread and beer. <laughs> mm. Lots of beans. Yeah. So uh, maybe tomorrow then, good sir. Uh, yeah, sure. Tomorrow, I guess. I woke up. Sure don't want to pick something up today. Might be gone tomorrow. You it's are... eating beans. What <laughs> would you recommend and what are your prices? Well, I'd say um, 
the earrings would go for about a hundred gold. Necklaces, um, 150. Rings are 50 each. And the uh, tiara is uh, 500. Do you think that tiara would fit me? Oh, anything would fit a beauty. <laughs> Behind her, I'm standing like... <laughs> You're not seeing that. I don't really of need course, to have Of course, being a businessman, it would be in my interest to sell me sell you the most expensive item. Curse my honesty. <laughs> but uh, really, though, I mean, anything would fit you, but the tiara would look really nice on you. I'm just feeling my horn something. <laughs> <laughs> well, unless uh, any of you would like to purchase some jewelry, I think we should uh, move on and perhaps come back later. Indeed. I'm going to buy a necklace. With all the old charm. You're buying a necklace? Wait, what? 150? Yeah. Mm -hmm. 150. Get down you want me to, uh, you want me to customize it for you? You can pick it up tomorrow if you want. Get, get the length properly. I'll measure your neck. <laughs> <laughs> now I'd say you have a circumference, circumference of about... Yeah, this much. Mm. little thing. Um, you leave a deposit of 50 today, you pay 100 tomorrow. It'll fit better. I got an Hagrid. Hagrid. <laughs> Hagrid. <laughs> Hold on. Cleave the meat. I ask um, his mother mm -hmm. um, what would you recommend oh I think the earrings are lovely I'm sure the lore is gonna go for them but you never know he's fickle but on me oh the tiara lo would look lovely <laughs> on you of course the tiara would look look lovely but um, hmm I um, think the necklace works. Ruby's red is your color, I think. Works well with your your complexion. <laughs> well, I mean, if you're after death, we have some onyx gemmed. But it goes well with silver, onyx. But you said hmm. the uh, Lord m will probably go for opals. Oh, yes, opals. They, they are his... Uh, well, I wouldn't say favorite, but since they're in the season, that's the sure bet. Yeah, but if he's a trendsetter, maybe he won't pick those because they are in season. Oh, that's true. That's true, of course. But another thing I was thinking about, good, good uh, jeweler, if all these things would look good upon her, and you're saying that they would, right? What would you say about her trying them out, being kind of a wandering commercial pillar for you just look at my wares look how good they fit i mean we're pretty much the only goldsmith here but <laughs> yeah it's not a bad idea but how do we know you're not going to run off with them well because we're going to be back tomorrow we could perhaps leave and what kind of guarantee will we it, we could perhaps leave something of hers behind us uh, uh, like what something of hers, of i don't course. she's gonna wear it so and uh, maybe we could get, I know, some gold pieces off of the asking price of whatever she decides to buy. I mean, it is an honest trade after all. I mean, it depends. Uh, well, are you her manager or something? No, <laughs> I'm just her friend. He's my friend. She hasn't um, seen lots of the world as of yet, so I'm just following her around, making sure. I mean, sales been kind of low lately. 
I don't, I don't suppose it could hurt. Yeah, well, what kind of uh, what kind of price reduction are we talking about here? Well, what would you think would be fitting? Ten percent. I was thinking more about a third. If you sell a necklace for 150, I mean, 100 is a good solid number. Hmm. A fourth. I can also promise to always mention your name when I talk about the jewelry. Roll, uh, uh, um, persuasion. persuasion, I guess, is a skill. That is a <laughs> skill. That is a skill. <laughs> yeah, but I mean, if there's, uh, there is no other there's haggling. No, there's no haggle, there's no merchant. No, there's, there's I'm only not... intimidation, I guess, but. Oh. <laughs> oh, I'm not trying to scare him. Roll, um, uh, persuasion then. <laughs> but you're going to get advantage because your friend spoke so well about it. Roll very much higher, please. What did you roll? Five. <laughs> What's with the rolls today? I don't know. That's right. much better. Yeah, she got a five as the best <laughs> roll. Plus, what's your situation? Five. So ten. No, I'm sorry. This is Sable Basin Keep, after all. I, it's nothing personal. Yeah, I it just... might work in the future. We'll, we'll try it out later, perhaps. But right. no, I'm sorry. Uh, up, I, I can't say you, I don't understand. What? It's up to you, dear, what you decide to <clears throat> Run away! <laughs> Hagrid! <laughs> is that our word for running away now? I don't know. All right. No, oh, of, cor of course. It... <clears throat> This place might not be the safest to run around in a lot of jewelry, of course. Um, hmm. I think I will think about it and return tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Of course, of course. Good day. Um, good day. Good day. So, Astra, <clears throat> when we're outside, <sighs> if you pick the right piece of jewelry to wear, maybe you can, I don't know, seduce or charm the Lord? Being of the same kind of person, like just to wear the latest fashion or fad. Yeah, because that's not what I thought about. Um, what were, what were you thinking about? I love that you're all avoiding the one store where you can buy things. <laughs> but <laughs> that comes Next later. I'm curious. Yeah. All right, sure. Um, no, I'm not going to tell you where to go. Otherwise, I know where I can be tomorrow. Yeah, excellent. Marish? Marish. Also, uh, Marish. Unger? Yeah. Marish. Yeah. Marish. We don't know if they were speaking about the cats. Yeah, what's no. about the cats? I just heard they said we need to get rid of those. They didn't say those cats. They could mean something entirely different. I was just wor well, you could have stepped in then. I mean, I was just using the things I heard, and I could be wrong, so. Well, maybe we should go back and investigate. We can do that later first. We could do that later. Marish, it is. Okay, you go to Marriage of Limbo. Um, it's a kind of a dark alley store, uh, very rundown looking. <clears throat> the dust and grime covering the windows make it almost impossible to even see inside. Uh, and as you step in, there's like a small bell that jingles. Oh no. And you hear loud snoring. Uh, but that is a little bit muted because all over the store, every surface is covered in, in items of all kinds. There's weapons, there's pieces of armor, there's weird creatures, uh, books. Uh, bags that make weird noises as you pass. This um, is the kind of store you want to go into. Yes. Essentially, everything, everywhere you turn, there's something weird. There's weird skulls. Um, there are stuffed animals that l creatures you've never seen before. Um, and there's the snoring in the, in the background. Mm, stuff. I look around. This is Ooh, a that. lot and that, and that. of things. Are we looking for something special? Anything that might aid us. Well, anything might, so well, I guess we're in the right place. Well, perhaps we need to uh, inquire yes. 
from the owner what I all these that things be might indeed. be. Who oh. are you? <laughs> what are you doing in my store? Trying to we find something to buy, sir. The, 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 there's a man sitting up. Um, his hair is in all directions. like this. He is not a human. Actually, he's something you've never seen before. He's kind of sallow, yellow skin, very dry looking. His nose is so pressed up that it looks like just slits. Um, and he's like a very angular uh, face. Um, you've thin, never... Fat, thin, fat, Very short. thin, very right. thin, tall right. looking. And he looks... Uh, his eyes are completely bloodshot. And you see a bottle standing on the, uh, on the table where he was sleeping. What are you doing here? What do you want? We were thinking of checking out the merchandise. Ah! Spying on me, that's what you were doing. Of course, perusing your store, sir. Customers, a likely story. Emmanuel, come in here! What? And a small, very small dwarf uh, walks down some stairs. Oh, welcome, customers! Hello! How nice! Shut up, Emmanuel! How can we help you? <laughs> well, we're in basically <laughs> browsing. We've not seen most of the things you seem to have here, so we would very oh, much like... Oh, I would uh, doubt you've seen any of these things. They're from the plains. Who told you to speak to them, Emmanuel? Go up again! And he, he, the dwarf steps up there. Oh, the, Emmanuel, please come down. Please come down. We need to talk no, to you. No, no, don't talk to him. Can we you talk are to not him? allowed to. What, what, what do you want? Stuff. Magical stuff. Ugh. Ugh. Magical stuff. Yes. Please. Who told you I have magical stuff? The sign outside. Yes. Yes, you're absolutely right. I sell magical stuff. Mm. Oh, uh. Where have you gotten all these things from? Wouldn't you like to know? Yes, I would like to know. It's a store. I have things. I order them when I don't have things. Ah, don't ask, don't tell policies. I like that. Yes. Mm. I like the cut of your jib. Very well. Uh, I jib will cut you. You know the deal. You, you get what you want. You come here, you pay me. I give you something else as well. Right. Now leave me alone. I have a headache. No, wait. Damn you. <sighs> what? Can you do things non-magical that too magical? What are you talking about? I want to be able to swim. Get, go out and swim. With but this, I look like a swimming instructor. No, I, I want I'm to I'm a merchant. I don't make things. Damn it. Do you know someone who does? Would you have anything that might aid? Oh, Emmanuel, come down here. <laughs> And uh, doom, 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 doom. <laughs> yes. Hello, Emmanuel. Yes. I Don't touch like me, to please. To... <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. I have a condition. Right. Hair. I see. So, um, I would like to be able to swim in this suit of armor. Hmm. Is that a possibility? Hmm. Hmm. He looks you up and down. It. It doesn't take much. <laughs> <laughs> well. Um. I don't. Hmm. Well. Hmm. Because hmm. I know the captain's gonna throw me overboard. <laughs> I don't really have. Hmm. Would you have? Hmm. What? Didn't when we have potions of? S no, we don't. He he starts going through the shelves. Hmm. Uh. No, we. Hmm. All right. Oh, I have it. The cabin. Who? Oh, don't mention the cabin. I mean the cabinet, of course. The cabin. Net. Cabinet. That we cabinet. don't talk about. All right. The unspeakable thing. What is yes. it? That's over in the corner. Oh, let's go look. I trot over. Mm -hmm. Bring the dwarf with me. The, the uh, Emmanuel, the dwarf, yes. he has a very nice, neatly trimmed beard, um, pot belly. He goes, this is the cabinet of destiny. Oh. Yes. What does it 
do? Well, as a service to our customers, anyone who steps in here will be granted with the thing they need the most. Just like that? Yes, like that. No special strange thing in the background. Your eyes are telling me different. No. Gefrin, would you like to step in? You should try it, Unger. I should. That they will ruin us. Yes. Says uh, says uh, what? Uh, Marish from the back of the sack. That thing is gonna ruin us. If it didn't cost anything, I mean, if it cost something, it would have ruined us. Anyway, uh, only once per person, or it, it doesn't work. Do it. For my brother, I might try this. Yes. Yes. So you step inside. He, he pulls the curtain away and there's like a swirling mist inside that makes it impossible to see what's in there. Right, that seems that looks so creepy. safe. It's perfectly safe. Have you been there? Yes. What did you get? Several times, in fact. Oh, well, I didn't used to be a dwarf. He holds up a ring. What did Boop. And he's a human. Boop. And he's a dwarf. If you put a ring on another what? finger... Oh, don't do that. Oh, I, I want to try this. I want to be tall. <laughs> oh, I know you want to. Well, I can't say that whatever your heart desires is what you're going to get, but... I mean, I'm a dwarf. I don't mind. Yeah, well, it's perfect. It's a good party trick. <laughs> boop, boop. Uh, damn it, I go in and I try okay. to find my Roll brother. Roll a d20. Okay, I <clears throat> also really want to try this. Yes, but <laughs> Unger first. Well, nice Unger, to, hurry up. Nice knowing me. Carnival, carnival. 16. 16. 16. You step into the swirling mist, and as the curtain closes behind you, you find yourself completely alone in a big, dark, uh, mysterious uh, universe. And as you swirl through the universe, you see stars and planets and comets around you. A small bag comes hovering towards you and lands in front of you. This is not my bro It's not made of skin, is it? Uh, 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 one, ca some kind of skin, yes. Okay, I pick it up and open it and like, brother, you in here? Uh, you open the bag and you look inside it, and uh, let me see here. Uh, first of all, roll d6. The f four. Okay. Then I want you to roll a d8. Six. <laughs> As you open the bag, a giant boar storms out of the bag Sweet. and just <laughs> flies off in the distance. Brother? No, that was not your brother. The bag is about the size you can fit it in your hand. Okay. It is a bag of tricks. You have gotten a rust-colored bag of tricks. Okay. Cool. A rust-colored bag of tricks uh, weighs half a pound, and... I can bench press it. Yes. You can use an action to pull whatever's inside, which is usually a fussy object, from the bag and throw it up to 20 feet. When the object lands, it transforms into a creature you determine by rolling a d8 and consulting the table that corresponds to the bag's color. Right. Uh, <laughs> I'm not going to tell you what creatures those are, because I'm going to be the one rolling for yeah. when you pull out. <laughs> what, I shouldn't be rolling and you should tell me? And you can only use this bag three times a day. I'm going to tell you what comes out of it when you pull it out. Because you can't know until you pull that out. Right. So. Well, you know there's a giant boar. Can, a giant boar can come out of there. Yeah. Well, that that's. I don't want a giant boar standing beside me. It's ca It's floating away in space. Bye. Yeah. Oh, and poor pig. So, Chase it. That's the thing. We need food. That's the thing you got. Right. I. I go out. <laughs> Damn it! <laughs> you have a bag of tricks! <laughs> oh, that's a good one! What do you get? <laughs> okay, well, D, uh, uh, you can roll D8. D6 and a D8? D8, just a oh, D8. Right. Just a D8. giant D8. elephant. One. Trashes roll a the one. entire place. <gasps> you, um, let's see here. I, I should have. I close my eyes and, and silently say, brother. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you, a, a small fuzzy rat pops out and scurries away on, on the floor. Well, close enough, almost. <laughs> <laughs> oh, ouch. That's harsh. Yes. Okay. Toby's well, watching this, next. you know. Okay. Uh, step inside. I go inside. Don't wish Roll for a your D20. sister. She'll 
get a pig. <laughs> yeah, yeah Sorry, a giant pig you? comes flying towards you. Uh, yes. What did you say? Roll a d20. 19. You rolled <clears throat> 19. As you step inside, you find yourself in uh, the um, the Sun and Sons. And uh, it's not exactly as it was since b- last time you were in here. Everything is muted. All the colors are muted around Anderson's you. Andersons and Sons were the, the gold, jewelry gold shop. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Uh, except for a ring that's lying on a satin pillow in the middle of the room. Oh. It's a sign. But I pick it up. Mm-hmm. You pick it up. I put it on my finger. You put it on. <coughs> what did it look like? It, it was a strange. It is. Let me uh, let me uh, look it up. Um, I try it on. Are you a dwarf? You yeah, try I'm it on, and you are suddenly a dwarf. No, you're not. Um, that you're a golem. <laughs> you're you're made of gold. Um, <laughs> sell you. What did the ring the the ring look like? The ring. Let me see. I'm um, So many rings in this book. Uh, yes. Yes. The ring of power. <clears throat> Let's see here. Ring of. It is a ring of mind shielding. God damn! While wearing this ring, you are immune to magic that allows other creatures to read your thoughts, determine whether you are lying, know your alignment, or know your creature type. Creatures can telepathically communicate with you only if you allow it. You can use an action to cause the ring to become invisible until you use another action to make it visible, until you remove the ring, or until you die. If you die while wearing this ring, your soul enters it, unless it already houses a soul. Uh, you can remain in the ring or depart for the afterlife. As long as your soul is in the ring, you can telepathically communicate with any creature wearing it. A wearer can't, pre- can't prevent the, this telepathic communication. And there is no voice talking to you. There is now a voice. There is no voice. No voice. Okay, yeah. okay. I mean, I have enough of voices. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Leave um, the meat <laughs> again. You step out. Uh, what did it look like? It was a gold it's, ring. It's a go- um, actually, hold on. Uh, it is a... Um, uh, actually, kind of, it looks like... Um, it, li- it actually is gold. And it has blue gems uh, in- put into it. Small blue gems l- resembling the shape of a brain. Of a brain? Yes, of a brain. There's a picture here. I don't know if you can see it. Yeah. Gross. <laughs> yeah. So, you can trap a soul in an item. That your own like soul. Evil, yeah, your own brain. soul. So. Oh, it, it, it requires attunement, which means you need to wear it for a day before it actually works. Works, yeah. So you. Yeah, I suppose you could capture another person's soul, but they. No, they can't be captured. They can leave if they want to. Whoop. And do I know this just by putting it. This knowledge whoop, entered your brain. Because what was it called? Ring of mind. Ring of mind shielding. Shielding. <clears throat> Ooh, that's a pretty ring. Says Emmanuel. Unless it's invisible. Unless it's invisible, but you can't make it invisible until the day has passed. Yeah. It was kind of pretty. Well, third time's the charm. Let's see if you come out of this alive. That, I mean, with something magical. Brain? Sure. No, Roll a d20. Blue gems. Squish, squish, squish. It's a real brain. It's blue gems. Eight. It's not a real brain. Eight. It's squishy. I mean... Hmm. I'm disappointed with my dice. I will return them to China. <laughs> <laughs> Let me see if I can... Uh... Hey, I can pull out a cat for you. <laughs> pull out a rat. It's not a cat. Let me just... Uh... It's a you lion. You... Uh, walk inside and find yourself standing at the foot of uh, the tower in which your former lord lived. And Mm -hmm. lying by the floor, or the grass, is a spot, is a bundle of ropes, which is a 60 foot length of silk rope that weighs about three pounds. Hang yourself. It can hold up to 3,000 pounds. <clears throat> and if you hold one end of the rope and use an action to speak the command word, which you decide, uh, the rope animates. And as a bonus action, you can command the other end to move towards the destination you choose. 
That end moves 10 feet on your turn when you're first commanded and 10 feet on each of your turns until reaching its destination, up to its maximum length away or until you tell it to stop. You can also tell the rope to fasten itself securely to an object or to unfasten itself, to knot or unknot itself, or to coil itself for carrying. If you tell the rope to knot, large knots appear at one foot interval along the rope. And while knotted, the rope shortens to a 50 foot length and grants advantage on checks made to climb it. The rope has AC 20 and 20 hit points. It regains one hit point every five minutes as long as, ha as it has at least one hit point. If the rope drops to zero hit points, it is destroyed. It is a rope of climbing. <clears throat> and one of the challenges yes, so. in the tower is climbing, as I understood. You can command it to strangle That's someone. destiny. Yes. I, I would say that strangling them yourself would probably be more efficient. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but not as sneaky. That's true. That's true. It's like a sneak. Well, this was exciting. Well, you, you're not out of it yet. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> well, you still, have, well, well, you have been inside looking at whatever you... Finished. You've pulled out the entire animal kingdom of your bag. Not yet. I'm not that hungry. <laughs> what I've been doing is looking at... They had, a, I guess, a table or something with kind of necklace kind of things that fastens around here. Oh, yes. Tightly. Oh, yes. What, what are these things? There, there are several of oh, them. Oh, they're the they're the stones of walking and also talking. They're the latest trend in the in the magical ca uh, college. I've heard. It's I a fashionable collar with a little mm. stone fastened to it that allows you to communicate uh, with any who has the same stone within, um, well, it, pretty much any distance at all. It's a little bit sensitive well, to that's, magic. That's that's magical. Yes, it is magical. I wait. Who could I? If I buy one of those, who could I talk to? Probably only me, because there's only. I mean, they they come in sets. So sets. no one else has bought any of these. So how many are there? There's uh, four in every set. Four or five, I guess. Or five in every set. How of course, much does yeah. a set cost? Uh, there's 100 per uh, per stone. Well, that's a bit much. I don't think so. I do. <laughs> you might want to lower your voice a little bit. I do? Yes. Marish doesn't take kindly when people criticize his prices. He do becomes you? very angry. Do you become angry? He's the one you have to pay. And I... Haggling is out of the question. You'd have to be very good at haggling. I'm not. I don't think you're very good at haggling. <laughs> you climb your way up the tower and you come out of the cabinet. Okay. With your rope of climbing. These Yay. Ones, they look really useful. So you've all had a chance to look over the list of items. Nice. Mm -hmm. Um. Daniel has already... I, I would like oh, us yeah. to purchase these <coughs> things because the, they are super good to have, I think, and practical as hell. Friends! These things I think we should purchase. Oh, they're very uh, appreciated by our customers. The other sets, I mean. Yes. Does all the sets look alike? No, they have different colored stones but uh, a person that has bought one set would recognize another set no because they change color you, you s when when you buy them you kind of smoosh them together and they take a color of your choice and that's your color <laughs> it just works it's yeah, magic it works. what do you want from me no, shut I'm up Emmanuel Yes. I'm just curious about it. No one can listen in on you. I promise. Probably. <laughs> Except you. Me? Why would I do that? Um, well, if we buy a set, he wouldn't be able to listen. Oh, right. So uh, he said there's. Let's let's drop the whole five, five stones, stones yeah, so set thing because it, it they work only for you. Yeah. 
no one can listen in. I- I'm just gonna throw a hundred gold at this because I want one. Mm-hmm. Yeah, sure. Okay. So Agreed. that's a hundred gold each. Yeah, because uh, haggling is out of the question with all the insane man with magic. <laughs> and I'm not gonna. I'm try. not insane. <clears throat> Who said that? You read thoughts too. Yes. Who's the one whose thoughts I can't read? None as of yet. Yes. <clears throat> All right. Anything else you found interesting on the list? <clears throat> yeah, I. You know. I I I my my eyes might have caught sight of, you know, a little doll. Aha. Uh-huh. That looks like a tiefling. Her oh, current like doll will be jealous. <laughs> Oh, this one is oh, a good one. Yeah. You're talking, yeah. of course, about baby's first sacrifice. Yeah, uh, that's is that what it's called? That's what it's called. Wow. Of course, you would see that of thing. Of course. Yes. It, the, it is said. It I have louder. not tested it myself, of course. <clears throat> that if a, if the owner of said doll is on the brink of death, the doll will die for the owner. Well, that sounds useful. Well, we're going into. But only war. once. But only once. Well. Once is more than It enough. could be yours for only 300 GPs. I mean, gold pieces. Yes. Gold pieces. 300. I think... Are you prone to dying? <laughs> I think that the one... I think Jeffrey You never have know. I'm not... Why? Because I got my ass kicked by a halfling. There are three <sighs> different dolls. They... St- Disturbingly resemble he, he, the three of you a lot. That one even has a small breastplate with itself strangling two okay, serpents. That, 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 that is was a bit more creepy than I initially thought. And I will not for one I will not allow anyone else to own this thing because it might contain a part of my soul. I'll take this doll too. Really? Alright, fair enough. Yes. 300 gold. You hear a very, very tiny voice from this tiefling box. <laughs> yes. <laughs> from from, from this the one. box. From uh, There's a small, small, small puppet belonging to the doll. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. No, no, like, no, there's not. Kill the meat. It's kill the meat. Uh, so you buy the Taste doll. Taste the flesh. Taste the flesh. So you, buy, you buy your doll? Yes, I buy my doll. Well, right. I... I I need to get this because I don't know much about myself, you know. So I'm taking this one. It even speaks like you. It doesn't speak. Did you hear the doll speak? Do you need you to get your ear ch- ears checked? Listen to it. <laughs> your doll is is like she doesn't believe you. <laughs> I have a friend. <laughs> they're, they're, these are actually kind of shitty looking. So, so they, they look like yeah. you, but they're also really shittily made. Like the head p- pops off if you pull at it because it's plastic. Can, I, almost see, can like. I look at your doll plastic? for a second? It looks kind of like plastic, yes. Well, you d- wouldn't recognize right. plastic. First of all, I, I, I take her doll, borrow it, I've got my own, look at them. Kind of. Each each of the dolls have three plastic swords in a set with them. Okay. Oh, kissy, kissy, kissy. Ew. <laughs> then I put mine away, take out a needle and po- poke the no, foot. Nothing happens. Oh. Uh, don't, you're going to have to pay for that one if you're going to... No, it's hers. Well, someone's going to have to pay for it now that you've broken the box. The that box. They came in. It's a collector's item. Yes, you broke the seal. Now it's not worth the uh, still in box value. Mint condition. Yes, mint condition. <laughs> oh, God. No, I'm just kidding. Of course, you don't have to buy it. Buy it. <laughs> well, did you feel anything in your foot? I saw what you did. Yeah. Did you feel anything? No. no. Well, I want this one. All right. So that's four hundred for the lady. Yes. Anything else? Can I interest you in this exotic bird, the blue hooter? <laughs> you know, I was just looking for one of those. You're hungry? You know what it is? Yes. It, it, it's about the these. size of a parrot. Oh, God. This size. Oh, no. It's bright blue. It's half my size. <laughs> yes. 
it looks at you like a dinosaur would consider prey. Like I'm thinking about <laughs> another rat, but uh, no. But well, we have the means twice, to feed right? it. So. Ah yes, the strange exotic blue hooter. Do you want me to tell you about it? Yes, please do. Ah, this bird actually is a prophet. Once per day, you can ask it a question. It has to be a short one, and it will answer to the best of its abilities. But only once per day. Do we know of uh, how accurate the answers? Well, it did tell me that we were going to have three customers today that were going to be buying, and that it couldn't tell me any more, but uh, pretty accurate. All right. You know what? I'll take it. All right, that will be 300 gold pieces. Yes. So that's 400 for you, 400 for the lady, and the... the uh, Gentlemen decide to go for the doll as well. Yes, well, I'm already paid. So you're 400 each. Yep. Anything else? <clears throat> Do you know of anyone in the city who might take a look at my state of being and grant me something that allows me to not drown? Well, I suppose we do have... Oh, now I remember. We have the potion of water breathing. I mean, it won't stop you from sinking, but... well. You will, will be able to breathe underwater. Wait. It's 180 gold pieces. It's a steal. Is it? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> but because I only have 120 on me. The rest you already have. I suppose we'll all have to hope you don't fall into any water. Are you so heartless? Yes. I work here. You make, a, you make a solid point, sir. Damn it. All right, I, I'm done. You're done? Yep. Uh, what's this little bottle of uh, some kind of liquid? Oh, which one? It seems to be uh, something for... Crooked? Oh, the syrup for crooked throats. Yes, yes, yes. yes. Um, this bottle contains five doses of cough syrup. And as a strange side effect, um, it also allows you to perfectly imitate a voice uh, you hear while consuming it. Hmm. For an hour. 200 gold pieces. It's a steal. You know what? I'll have it. All right, that'll be 200 gold pieces. Thank you. You have a bird, a bottle, and a necklace. Oh, uh, no. A necklace? He, no, he has a... Um, oh, yeah. It's a. Uh, it's like... Um, the the, the torque. Tor looks like what Solid Snake has in... Or Big Boss has in Metal Gear Solid. It's like a thin Do I know of what leather that is? with a gemstone on it. Oh, okay. What? Do I know what that is? Yes, of course you do. Metal Gear Solid? Yes, it's a huge uh, oh play God. in this, this world. <laughs> anyway. Yeah. Hmm. I am finished shopping. All right. Is everyone done? For today. Yeah. All right. Yeah, fashion victim might want to go Are back. you done? Are you leaving? Yes. Good. Never come back here again. We will. And if you do, you're welcome. You, you, I, I, Emmanuel, see them out. What's your name? I'm Marish. No, you're not. Yes, I am. Goodbye. I, am I? Outside, <laughs> I'm like standing. I hope I made a strange enough impression on him because he seems strange. Yes, yes, of course. I uh, take the opportunity to ask uh, Manuel if... Uh, well, we've heard rumors that the Lord of uh, Gold is coming to town soon. Do, does he usually visit your shop? Oh, no, no, no. He's not allowed. He's not allowed? No, no. Strict orders. Not allowed in our store. Is that orders from uh, Marish? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> One would think uh, the Lord of Gold would be an interesting customer. Yes, well, 
as you can probably tell, Marish is not very interested in money or customers. Okay. Hmm. Boop, boop. <laughs> Magic trick. <laughs> Bye. Closes the door. Okay. That was weird. Couldn't you try to ask him why the Lord was not accepted? Do you think a person like Maresh needs... No, but perhaps the human dwarf. The human dwarf. I think he's I, I not allowed. I put away my doll in one of my component pouches. Leave the meat. <laughs> flesh burns, <laughs> flesh burns. Together the with my other doll. Yes. You hear strange <laughs> stabbing noises from inside. <laughs> and and blood drips one. from your bag. No. <laughs> Her Nothing choir of cleave the meat, cleave the meat. Death to the unbelief. Yes, yes. Um, this, so far, you haven't been to um, to Teddy's food and beverages, or magical and common ingredients, or uh, the feisty mermaid. I actually have a theory on why the Lord is not allowed at Marish. Oh, do tell. I think it's. Possibly a decree by the other lords, because that would give him a huge advantage. I'm thinking we might inquire if any of the lords are allowed in there. Indeed. I open the door and go back in. <laughs> <laughs> no, the door doesn't open. I knock on it. Nope. Hello. Nope. Oh. Nothing. I have more money. Nothing. Go away. There's nothing. It's almost as if the place is closed. Um, meh. Oh. Meh. I, feisty mermaid it is. Unless uh, you have something else you want to go to? I could use the rest. Why is your component pouch wiggling? It's not. Right. <laughs> if you say so. You're imagining right. things. But we, uh, which ones did we not? Uh, you haven't visited, you visited, you haven't visited uh, magical and common ingredients, and you haven't visited um, Teddy's food and beverages. Right, right, right. And the feisty mermaid, of course. I touch my nectar to, to yours and put mine on. Yes. Let's try this out. <laughs> Can you hear me? <laughs> Can I'm you hear standing. me now? Can I, you I, hear me now? <laughs> I, I walked away a bit, and like, can you hear me? I wish I couldn't. My voice will be with this you forever. A, this was a big uh, mistake. <laughs> <laughs> I regret this decision. You can actually I speak in my sleep. You can actually turn off your stone uh, if you want. So it's, I speak. respond. I respond in <laughs> infernal. <laughs> you hear demonic Take, speech. <laughs> I. I I hear cleave the meat and I like right <laughs> off. This is not gonna give me nightmares at all. Okay, so um, also I don't know why I have the picture of the stone quarry uh, in, in, the, in the stream, but well, uh, where do you go? The I follow them. Yes. Feisty mermaid. You go to the feisty mermaid, yes. the inn. The feisty mermaid. Which time of day is it? It is uh, actually midday. Midday. Yes. Ah. So I feel tired. <laughs> it's just opened up for the day. There's a uh, there's a pair of uh, tough looking Goliaths standing outside the door, scrutinizing you as you walk up to it. Hey, I know you. How? <clears throat> you're that. You're the one who was working for Captain Sal a couple of years back. Never worked for us. Are you sure? Quite. It's my life. Is it open? Roll persuasion. No, never. You need deception. Deception. Roll something. Uh, for one. <laughs> Are you kidding? Me? No. 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 Uh, I haven't rolled above eight. Damn it. <laughs> you rolled really bad this time. <laughs> well, I rolled really good some other times. Yeah. Yes. I think you need to get a haircut or something. No. Did, weren't I you? Didn't you run out of here? Like, didn't your friend get taken by the? Yeah, I'm. <clears throat> is it open? Yeah, 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 it's open. Yeah, uh, fine, fine. All right, go in. That does hell to my throat, by the way, so I shouldn't be doing yeah. that. Ooh, I am getting go cold. Um, what did they say about your friend? 
Nothing. Food you you step base. inside, and uh, the Feisty Mermaid is actually a pretty tall building. And what's interesting is that in the middle of the room, it, it is a essentially a square room with several floors. Um, but the middle area is open because there's a big tank of water that goes from floor to ceiling and actually oh. goes out between the rooms. And you see a shape moving around inside the 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 water tank but it's it's on the far end so you don't actually see what it is each floor has a couple of doors uh to rooms and there's a big bar at the bottom floor and there's smaller bars uh, on each of the floors and there's some people in here even though it's midday um this is an expensive and fancy place yeah so just you know you can at the bars you can ask them for fish food so you can throw in the tank and feed her just saying. The, the, um, you know that the feisty mermaid is named after its owner, who is actually a mermaid, uh, who is named uh, Irea. She doesn't take kindly to people feeding her. I know. Yes. So, of course, you tell them to feed the mermaid. Yeah. There's, a, there's a couple of, like, um, sluices, I guess you'd call them sluice, yeah. uh, where Opening. she can get out of the water because they can actually survive out of water um, and commute like so she can actually communicate with people outside um, but you can see that it is actually a mermaid swimming around in the water is she beautiful you can't tell she's feisty I'm curious so I, I stand and watch okay um, define beautiful if you mean scaly uh, fierce looking fanged and uh, 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 covered in scars, then yeah, sure, she's beautiful. She seems gorgeous. <laughs> she seems battle hardened, so probably cute, <laughs> gorgeous. <laughs> she's she's beautiful, but she's not like the Little Mermaid beautiful. More like uh, World of Warcraft. Uh, cool, beautiful. Yeah. Okay. Should I open up my bag and throw in an animal? Uh, <laughs> yeah, you have one more. If you want to die. <laughs> I want to stay here for a while, so... Alright. Uh, two floors up, a bar, some food and drink. Yes. And a table sitting down. Yeah, relaxing. you're served. You, you get a, uh, a corner in the, in the bar. In a room filled with corners. <laughs> and they're all dark, mysterious. Yes, of course. Strangers, Strangers every in every corner smoking a pipe. <laughs> Damn it. Watching you. Which quest do I pick? A large yellow exclamation point appears above someone's head. Ooh. XP. No, no. They they pay you very little attention. Uh, you actually spot on your way up, sitting around the table, are a bunch of dragonborns. And they are green, and they are sitting in. Wait, they're the swamp things. They're no, they're they're. Banjo make your heart are, sing. Are, yeah, are they banjo playing? You things? actually recognize their emblem as being uh, from the 16th Legion, uh, which is uh, from the... I don't have it right with me right now, but it is uh, from the green Dragonborn clans. Uh, they're not exactly the most reputable ones, uh, so they're probably sent to this back... Like, they don't have jurisdiction here. Uh, so they're, they're relaxing, they have their helmets off, their armor looks way more sleek and uh, complicated, like in layers, than what you're used to. Um, hmm. But they they notice you and they give you a nod, uh, and then they return to talking. So the green right. ones, ones also spit acid, right? Oh, oh yeah, they do. Mm. Uh, cold. Yeah. Well, I nod back, not to rouse suspicion. Other than that, there's mostly humans, a few orcs, goliaths, stuff like that. You get to your corner, sit down, get your food. I'm ready to spend the day here. Seems secure enough. All right. Unless someone else wants to do anything. And in the meantime, I'm observing these green ones because he has been stating all my life that I've known him. That he's the runt of the litter, so I'm looking at these despicable, puny, failed ones, it seems. They're definitely um, not quite as um, 
they're, they're a little bit smaller than Gethryn, actually. It never strikes me that he might have been exaggerating. I mean, he's Gethryn, so... You didn't see any black dragonborns. <laughs> now, oh, uh, you only saw their machines. Yeah, well, that... Did you see his sister? No. Okay. No, he was she was away. bigger than you. Yes. Yeah. Um, but the green dragonborns are kind of... Uh, they're, they're strong in numbers, but they're more snake-like. I guess you're kind of snake like too because you're deft, but. <laughs> what? Less you failed kobolds? <laughs> what? Less failed kobolds? Yeah, yeah. Right. You talk for a little bit because I really have to go and, and, and yeah, I will be stuff. right back. Right. Entertain do, the audience. Do we have a plan of attack? What? Let's hope there's no alarm. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Don't set off the alarm. Three, two, one. No, 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 he has to go out in the main corridor for that. Well, last time it was just outside the door. Huh. Strange. Oh, yeah, there is an elevator. Aha. Uh -huh. well, no alarm. alarm. <clears throat> well, uh. Maybe if we meet this Lord of Gold tomorrow, we'll get a better idea. Maybe. Well, if we somehow earn his favor, we could possibly maybe skip some levels. Could be sponsored. You could, perhaps, yeah. Well, you're small and stringy and I, strong I, for a gnome. Of course I am, but I'm, I'm not gonna fight. You're the fighter. I'm yeah, back. but there's there's other other floors with other challenges. Yeah, let's skip as many as we can. Yes. Yeah, of course, but I mean... Could I ask your bird something, by the way, or could you ask it for me? I'd rather hear the question before you ask the bird. Yeah, sure. Do you have Where your giant he? parrot bird on it's your It's on my shoulder. shoulder. Where else? In a bag. No. Is uh, that a question? Do you have your kid. giant blue bird? <laughs> no, you have to literally look it in the eyes and address it well, to I, Yes. I, I didn't ask the bird if it was sitting <laughs> on its shoulder. Excuse me, are you sitting on his shoulder? Yeah, the I'll blue ask. hooter is quite an impressive <coughs> bird, by the way. Mm. Nice can, plumage. Maybe you could ask it about where is my brother? question is if we'll get a good answer. I don't know, but... Also, that's the one and only question for the day. Yeah. Why do you think he went to a tavern? So he can ask the question, go to sleep, and... Yeah. <laughs> of course he did. Fine. Ask away. It's your bird. You can ask. I can. Or can I ask the bird? No. Only he can. I ask look it in the eye and ask, where is my brother? And it goes like... Eh. So. It picks up a cup. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> That's the sound it makes. No. Error! All right, fine. It turned blue. You ask it. Well, I ask it, uh, where is Alder? Um... Side note, I actually decided that it would be fun to ask just because I'm not sure you have that planned. <laughs> I, side note, there might be more than one Alder in the world. It can't read your mind. Well, it where just stares at you blankly. Like, Where is his brother, Alder? Oh, my um, second name is Farnold. No, it uh, isn't. It is. You're a pirate, you're a liar, and a thief. I'm a buccaneer! <laughs> Damn it! Get your facts straight. In the Republic? Capital city? No. Hashtag safe for now. <laughs> <laughs> right. Right. Uh, <clears throat> so we know he's safe and he's the in the Republic. In so the these green scales over there, do you think we can join them back to the Republic? Go to the capital, perhaps? <laughs> there, uh, you know uh, that they're probably stationed here uh, to to uh, serve as uh, guard for uh, someone who's perhaps a, 
What's it called? They're the rear guard. They're not even part of the army. They're here to def to guard someone. Oh, they're the home guard thing. They're, they're, they're defending a, an ambassador, basically. Ah, uh, right. They're mm. useless. They, they've, they've been stationed here for a while. You can tell that they 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 have... Uh, they're fat, they're lazy, yeah, they're stinking. I mean, wow. <laughs> they have feelings, you know. They're not <laughs> hearing me, right? Oh, no, but still. They're yeah. sitting right next to you. What? <laughs> they have exceptional hearing. <laughs> <coughs> Sneaking up on people. Right. Um, no. So, what is our plan? I'm thinking that tomorrow we shall go to the jewelers. We shall see this, uh, perhaps see this Lord of Gold. Mm -hmm. And uh, perhaps get him to sponsor you. Bring us in. Skip a few floors of his tower and then attempt to... I don't know, kill him or something? Well, make some kind of impression as to uh, improve our chances. Go up to him, flex a bit, we're and in. All we need is the key, right? His key. Yeah, sure. That's what the oh-so-reliable Captain Sao told yeah, us. Yeah, and you are so much more reliable, right? <laughs> yes, you know me. Of course I am. You are not reliable. You turned a whole town against me no yes you did i told them not to hurt you well they didn't hurt me before no and, and they, they didn't me. and they did not after so what's your point is he for real uh, i ask myself that sometimes here poke me poke i'm real another slap <laughs> No, <laughs> it'll break my head. I poke you with a needle. That hurts. So, yes, what's the plan? The plan is to speak with Lord of Gold tomorrow, hopefully, if we meet him at the jewelry. We have jewelry two opportunities shop. to impress. Either she can seduce or something. Do you know me as a sed seductress? Maybe it's in your blood. I don't know. My blood. <sighs> or we can get Geffrey to impress him enough. Both seems plausible. Well, I think it's more plausible for him to fall in love with this one. Well, yeah, of course. I mean, who doesn't? Uh. I mean, he has a fan club of gnomes and a captain of the sea, so. Is the Lord of Gold a human? We don't know that. Uh, no. Link has says he could be gay. Of course you could. I mean, How do we know that one is a male? He has said so. Which one? The Lord? Mm -hmm. Gethryn. Gethryn. Oh, If no, he's he like slim us? like a snake or something, I mean, it's kind of hard to tell. I guess. <laughs> what are you you're then? pretty sure you're a guy. Yes. Last time I checked. <laughs> Every time you go to the bathroom, yep, still a guy. <laughs> <laughs> so, um... Not yet. Uh, we're yes. gonna. <clears throat> so the plan is to meet up with the Lord tomorrow. I'm actually curious. I would like to have a short chat with the green ones. Short chat. <laughs> <laughs> chat. Yes. 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 Uh, okay. <clears throat> so you uh, you head over to the table with uh, where the uh, other uh, dragonborns are seated. Yes. And <laughs> they um. They look you over, and then uh, one of them scoots closer to the others and offers you a seat. Hmm? You new here? Yeah, I just arrived. First Which time legion here. you from? Excuse me? Which legion? Well, I know all the legions, right? Yes, you do. Uh, I, do I haven't decided all the legions, so just throw a number out of your ass. and. <laughs> Take your, your sisters. Oh, that could be troublesome. I go with the... the seventh? Seventh. Ah, seventh! What are you guys doing over here? Well, I'm kind of on my own at the moment. We had a ah, short leave. I hear you. Yeah, just be careful. Don't go native. Go native? Yeah. I mean, considering everything that's around here, you got to keep your discipline. 
the others yeah. just look at him and then punch him in the shoulder. What the fuck are you talking about? Can we buy you a drink? It's pretty rare to see someone uh, of the uh, the black dragon brood around here. Sure. Seventh, huh? Man, you guys really took a beating when you got up against the uh, dwarves. Well. Last year. Small but tough, I guess. <laughs> yeah, I hear you. If you spot any of them here, don't try anything. The Lord's got a bunch of really nasty soldiers uh, just waiting for to jump whoever starts trouble. You learned that the hard way. All right. I've heard rumors about this Lord guy. Lord of Gold, right? Yeah, no. Lord of Sun, actually. Lord of Sun. Mm. Okay. He's the top dog around here. Well, I mean, power-wise. I suppose Lord Gold is the one who's got the treasure, but... Money can't buy everything, right? Uh, I guess that's Heresy. right. So, what are you guys doing here? Uh, <clears throat> we're escorting, we're escorting an ambassador. Um, uh, they're, uh, we got a, we're going to the, uh, we're going to the, uh, what was it called again? Oh, the Golden Tower. Yeah, we're going there in about a cu in a couple of days. Uh, Standard stuff, meeting with the lords, haggling some about swearing allegiance. I don't know. They don't pay me enough to think. All right. So there's going to be some kind of uh, gathering? I mean, I heard from some guy down by the blacksmith that he's due to fight in a couple of days. Yeah, uh, like you're a talking about the Goliath? Yeah, Ragnar. Oh, Ragnar, yeah, that guy. Well, I mean, he's going to be fighting in a couple of days, and I guess we're going to be watching that. Mostly we're going to be up in the Floor of Gods, really, and talking business. All right, all the way up there. Yep. It's not as great as to say it is, at least not for us, but it's an easy gig. Okay. Did you get stationed here by someone from home, or...? Yeah, we're, um... Well, sorry. We're kind of the, uh... Kind of just here because uh, we don't have anything better to do. Fighting's kind of kind of not happening right now, so uh, we're uh, securing. I mean, don't you? You should know about that if you're the seventh. Oh uh, well, it's been a while since we had some action too. I suppose. I suppose. Now nah, we're just here for business. This right. city is uh, it's pretty weird. Yeah, I hear you. A lot of stuff I haven't even seen before. Yeah. Why are you hanging with uh, those weirdos, by the way? I met them up on the way. All right. Seems I'm on a, since I'm on a leave. Met them up on the way. They were going the same way. It was kind of boring. Where are you from, anyway? Like, would you? How'd you get here? Seventh, I mean, the Dwarven King is pretty far up north. Mm. Yeah. Where'd you go here? As I said, we're on the leave. Yeah, but <laughs> why here? I heard about it. It's supposed to be a lot of strange things around here, so I get I got curious. How about you roll Persuasion with advantage? A 20? Yes. And you roll it twice and pick the highest result. What was that? An 8. And the nine. <laughs> <laughs> Lovely. Well, he's Geffrey, so he has lots of persuasion or something. Uh, what do you have in bonus for persuasion? Four. Thirteen. They, uh, you notice that they get a little bit suspicious of you. Hmm. Where's the rest of the seventh? You're here on yourself? Yeah. Basically, everyone went their separate ways. We have quite a long time off, actually. Right. You know, um, you should check in with uh, with base command. Can give you an assignment here. All right. Make, make some uh, some easy money. Sounds good. He's a traitor. Can can go there right now if you want. Just stop. Just drop in. Uh, it's been I a long travel. Oh, we insist. They uh. Kind of lean forward, and one of them puts his sword on the, on the table. We insist you come with us right now. 
uh, three of them. Okay. I, uh, since we're hearing all of this, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm uh, looking at you and pick up discreetly. I pick up my bag, stick down my hand. Distraction! I throw something at him. <laughs> okay, roll a d8. <laughs> yes, go for oh my God. a one again. So I guess it's a rat. A fluffy little rat. Okay, so you throw a rat. <laughs> Near the... Yeah. All right, roll intimidate with a disadvantage. <laughs> Let's roll twice and pick the yeah, lowest result. I'm just trying to, you know, get him to think about something yeah. else. Perhaps it's a snack. I don't know. Uh, right, whatever it is, it's going to be either a 12 or a 17. So 12 plus 2, so 14. Are they distracted yet? Um, they look over at you. It's like... <laughs> what the hell? For the record, <laughs> I look at him yeah. at the exactly same way. Like... The rat scurries off the table. <laughs> Did you see that? Oh, I'm gonna use this all the time. Everything. Anyway. Go to the bathroom, let's go. like, wabba. <laughs> Yeah, sure. You see Gethryn uh, stand up and start leaving with the three <clears throat> green dragonborns. So. Gethryn? Did you say Gethryn? No. She just said. Mm. I know you. What? You're supposed to be dead. <sighs> that's, uh, no, that's not him. Uh, they draw um. their swords. And, um, yeah, wow. I'm so sorry. <laughs> uh, thank you. Um, I'm infernal so, thinking. I'm so sorry. We won't have time to play this fight, uh, because mm. it's almost nine and we have to start. Uh, well, I have a slight stuff. idea how to handle this. But the swords Sword are, board. interestingly enough, the swords are some of a design you've never seen before. They are uh, very thin and long, and the grip, they don't, it doesn't have a. Uh, the hilt? Uh, hilt. No, the this thing. The guard. Yeah. Doesn't have a guard. And the grip is shaped so you hold it like this. It's a floret. Uh, looks kind of like it. Hmm. What's that? And one of them raises it it's up and aims at you. Fencing thingy. Oh. And there's a hole in it. Ah, fuck. Hmm. And he fires. Oh no! It's a stone coming at you. <laughs> It is. Yes. And uh, we'll see if that hit in the next episode. Okay. I'm so sorry. <laughs> that was great. Thank you. <laughs> uh, that was a really great oh, no. place to end it.